What's cooking, Doc? Milk Crate Marauder. Surprise, motherfucker. He's a fag. Howdy. Faggot. It's not about you, douchebag. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. Get away with that? You can let this fucking punk get away with that? What's the matter? What's the world coming to? You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. I can call the police if you'd like me to. You need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business. Okay? Ma'am. Once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. It was a general. Right beforehand, you fucking said sir. Sir? Okay. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. I apologize. Motherfucker. I apologize now. It's a man, baby. Got ourselves a pretty little faggot. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, my apologies. Ooh. I apologize. Yes. I will get you that number right now. Well, no, you're just going to keep bumping your gums. You're just going to keep bumping your gums and disrespecting trans people in this store, which I plan on telling the entire LGBTQ community. You're going to lose money over this. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs some milk! I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. I have to say that there are some more important reasons to dislike milk. It ain't me! And black people, we done voted Trump out, but we ain't kill this motherfucker. He's still alive politically. White people believe in him right below Jesus. All they believe in his ass. They just lying to good white folks. Stop the steal. They just stole the vote. Fraud. You can't say no, you can't tell a Trump supporter nothing about Trump. Oh, yeah, not my Trump. Mm. They love motherfucker Trump. People ask me all the time, Quake, what kind of woman you looking for in your life? I said, nigga, I'm looking for a woman like a Trump supporter. No matter what she hear about me, that bitch don't believe shit. I heard he got another woman. That's fake news, baby. That's fake news. Don't listen to them hoes. They're the enemy of the state. These ain't jokes. I knew Trump was the pimp of all pimps, nigga, when he came here and sent the motherfuckers up here January the 6th. He told the motherfuckers, meet me here January the 6th. They came up there like he was Moses. <laughs> Just stepping. I never seen so many RVs, pickup trucks, white women with no teeth. They was everywhere. And then he came out and talked. Did the speech, their old motherfucking fearless leader. Right now, they're in there trying to certify the steal. You're not doing anything. They're stealing your vote. If you allow what happened in there, you're not going to have a country. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to walk down to the Capitol and stop them. I'm going to go with you, and I'm going to meet you there. <laughs> Trump went home. <laughs> that nigga was at the crib just chilling. White people was going crazy, nigga. They was knocking shit over, whooping police asses, climbing all on the wall and shit. I was watching that shit on TV. All, all I was wishing is, ooh, I wish I was a Capitol Police working that day. If I was there, I would have been like, pat, 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 pat. What you doing? Saving democracy, pat, 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 I'm shooting Trump supporters on the clock. Don't punch me out. I'm gonna do overtime today. What's your name, boy? Christopher Addicts. Believe me, 
If I was working, they would have got off them steps. Stop the steal. Pa -pa -pa. This nigga serious. Sure Back up, Billy Bob. and I don't like milk. Who you with? What the dog doing? He died like a dog. You guys are retarded. Well, this is exciting. Donald Trump must have heard that I was talking about his top 10 beauty, beautiful women list, and he has called in. Is that right? Donald, good to speak to you. Howard, how you doing? I did. I was listening this morning, and I heard you talking about the list. Well, let me tell you something. I congratulate you again on innovating something. I believe this list, like People Magazine's most uh, beautiful people. The 50 most beautiful. I believe this list will become an important list that women will want to be on. Thing. Well, you know, the People Magazine is highly political. Mine turned out to be highly political, because yes. as I look at the names, yes. I will tell you, it is highly politicized, Howard. Well, yeah, you're right. I was going to say, this couldn't really be a list. I mean, no, you even not. say your beautiful girlfriend. Well, I'd say five are, are legit, okay? Five right. are hundred percent, and five are political, but I can't tell you which one. <laughs> the, the, uh, I'm going to guess, if I may, the, <laughs> on your list, you, you mentioned your beautiful girlfriend, and she is beautiful, Melania Knauss. Correct. And you, 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 you say she's the number one woman in the well, world. Well, she really does deserve to be there. She's really amazing. She certainly deserves to be on your top ten. Right. But to, to put her as number one, perhaps, is political, right? Well, you actually put her as number one on your list, too, I noticed. So yes, I, I did. <laughs> I to figure that Very one. political okay, at the end. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. No, she is rather amazing, I will say that. So she could be, she could be right there. I mean, oh, she's yeah. sure. She early. Because I know everybody on the list, Robin. And, well, and, and, let you know. me talk to you about the list, because I want to understand. Go ahead, let All right? Go. And is this going to be a yearly event? Uh, this maybe is going to be. You have no idea. I mean, Star Magazine is owned by... A great guy, a friend of mine, and uh -huh. he said, Donald, we have to do the story, but you have to pick the top ten. And they gave me about three seconds to give him ten names, you yes. know, which is a little tough. You didn't put that much thought into so it. No, I'm sitting there in between deals, and I'm rattling off names. <laughs> so, you know, then when I see the names, I say, oh, my God, did I really say that? And what's funny about it is you could have used this list, had you had time to think about it, uh, uh, for, for women that you really want to go to bed with, because... This would be a great honor to be mentioned. I've already been called by three people on the list who I don't even know thanking me for putting them on the list. Who are the three? I can't tell you. All right, I'm here we get go. I'm in so much trouble with this, but, but five of the people really wouldn't be on the list. Five that of them I have. wouldn't five. even make the list. All right, let me go through your list because everyone is talking about the list. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Howard even tried to hone in and make his own list. Yeah, I'm trying to make my well, own I heard his list. You, heard <laughs> you know what? I listen. I'm I, I have a meeting, like this really important meeting, and I'm listening to him do his list. Right. And I couldn't turn it off, and I was 20 minutes late for my meeting. But here is what you say. Number 10, Diane Sawyer, a 54-year-old woman. I would imagine that that is a political comment. Well, you know, she's really a, a quality woman, and she's yes. done interviews with me, and she's been so nice, and I have All a lot right. of respect. For All right, it. let's call that. So, in other words, if we were going to get your real top ten, you were, you are not hot for Diane Sawyer. She's yeah, you know, she's a happily married woman. Right. So she, I'm sure she wouldn't want. Which that. pisses off all of us off. Still In other words, but you know what? She's done some nice interviews with me. How? Yes. Not everybody this has. Was a right. Bag. Right. Okay. Right. Right. All right. Number nine. Now this one. I hope is political. All right. Because I don't see it. Gwyneth Paltrow. Well, actually, the writer suggested a couple of names to me. Yes. Because, you know, after... You ran out? Hey, I was just doing a deal at the General Motors building. And then, <laughs> like, hey. You know, I'm, I'm being hit with this question. Who are your ten favorite women? So I he think... gave me some names. Uh-huh. But she's really very nice. I met her once. She's very nice. I but think... not hot for I her. think what happened here is you didn't realize how big your list was going to become. And uh, had you yeah, known, these are important slots. had yeah. you known how important these slots are, <laughs> well, next year I'm going to take slots, much more time. Next year, Howard, I'm going to take ten minutes to think about it. <laughs> Excellent. Now, Gwyneth Paltrow. So, why she is too skinny for you, and she is not all that sexy? Well, she's a very fine actress. All right, leave it at that. That seems He's political. He's walked out of many of her pictures. I'm going to suggest that Gwyneth Paltrow's on there because the reporter just said, "Hey, right. Donald and was like, name, and he was. Busy. I have three seconds. Because I was rushing him off the phone. See, I think next year's list is going to be the big yeah, one. That'll be the list. All That's right. the one. Everyone's waiting. That's right. Uh, number eight, Mariah Carey. That I could sing. Well, she's got something. She sure does. Good voice. She's got something. There's something sexy there. You want to bang her, right? There's something. Would you bang her? Nice about her? I mean, would hey, you bang her? Let's forget about her. I, I, I would do it without even hesitation. Exactly. Me too. So I buy that. I find her sexy. Okay. There are guys who think no, but I like that. Okay. A lot of people right. disagree with us on that. Number many, seven. Many number seven, Cindy Crawford. I don't believe that you still find her all that attractive. I well, think her husband is a tenth of mine in one of my buildings. Ah, okay. He's a lot of rent, and he's a great guy, she's, and I think she's very attractive. She's a good-looking woman, but she's not what she, all she's. Right, at, so far, we got three people who wouldn't have been on the list. Right, Cindy well, Crawford. Now is thirty-four well, years old. I'm not saying that officially, Robin. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not telling you which ones wouldn't. So. 
just to keep myself out of a little bit of trouble. You're saying you every would. Time I, hey, Robin, every time I do this program, I get in huge trouble. You said that you, you, you know what you're saying, you would sleep with Cindy Crawford, of course. Oh, I would, without question. Me I'd too, but you, but you have to admit she's hit something of a wall, right? Uh, she's not in the top ten. She's not in the top ten. She's no Melanie Canals. Well, her husband is doing beautifully at his restaurant. Understood. He makes the Political. <laughs> Political. Just at Central I Park. think the husband should have been on the list. <laughs> All right. Number six. Julia Roberts. I agree with that. I don't think that that was uh, political. Her, yeah. You know, the, the one thing you have to say about her, she's a true movie star. Yes. In a world where there aren't, you know, you look at some of these people, you look at, I, I won't even mention names, but some of the people, they're terrible. Right. And they're movie stars. When this she smiles, a true movie star. when she smiles, she wins you over. Okay, she's, fine. She's an amazing talent. Right. I can go so along let's keep with her on the list. Keep Alex. her on the list. Number five, Cameron Diaz. Now, I've heard up close, without the makeup and without the movie camera on, She's a mess. Well, you know, I, I look at this picture that they have in the magazine. Yes. And she looks magnificent. But yes. I, I did see her once at Mumba. Yes, go ahead. And it was about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I was surprised. Were you feeling no pain? Well, I was, I'm not a big drinker, so right. I was feeling Okay, yes. Pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but, <laughs> I was feeling like lots you of pain. <laughs> so you, you but were... I was a little bit surprised. She was a little different than I thought. I know so guys. She's not really on your list. I'll tell you something. I know guys. I'll tell you what happened to Cameron Diaz. She was searching for names. It was, he was okay, in a rush. That's probably a suggestion right. that was made. Well, I know that was, guys. That was a suggestion. I know a guy. Was he a good was, suggestion. I know a guy, regular guy, not a rich guy like yourself. He was at a bar one night. And uh, this girl kept uh, coming on to him. This was years ago, he told me. And lo and behold, after he blew her off, someone said to him afterwards, that was Cameron Diaz. Literally, she was not that hot. Well, All right, she, number, she was much different looking in person. I number was. four, you, you, you say Michelle Pfeiffer. Right. Now, you know, really from a number of years ago, she was one of the, she was really beautiful. Right. You agree with that? Yes. Yeah. But I don't find her sexy. Well, I don't find her that sexy. Well, it's a long, complicated story. I don't find her that sexy right now, Howard. Right, exactly. Because she, but it was a suggestion. <laughs> 42. <clears throat> uh, All right, anyway. There's a story, a long, complicated well, story. Well, listen, uh, she probably ended up on the list again because you were, you were short well, on there names. Were some, there were some names that were thrown out because I said, listen, I have a meeting, I have to go. And they said, what about this one, what about that one? But I think she's great, and I think she's another real movie star. All right, now. She's you a hear legitimate, really talented, good movie star. I never get this thing with Lady Di. I know you're very gracious He's to her. really liked Lady No, no, Di. I'll tell you what. I think she's magnificent. Yeah. Lady Di was truly a woman with great beauty. I've you would have slept with her. A couple of times. Would you have slept with her? Without even hesitation. Right. He wishes he no, had I'm... the opportunity. Now, here's well, the truth to that, Robert. She was really beautiful, and people don't realize how beautiful. She was supermodel beautiful. Isn't it amazing? She had the height. She had the beauty. She had the skin. The whole thing. She's I'll crazy, you. but you know these are minor details. <laughs> She's crazy. You've dealt with that. Right, you've dealt with that. Oh, no, she, yes, I have dealt with that. Number two, two on your list, which was very, very political of you, but smart. I, I, this is why I consider you a Wasn't bright that guy. that brilliant, Howard? You put the ex Mrs. Trump Ivana. And I noticed there. you did the same thing and yes, put her in I the did. same slot. Well, this you is have yes. another ex. I wondered why that. Person. He's mad at Marla Maples right now. You're angry that she's selling off the well, diamond engagement ring. An auction, an auction of a ring is a little tacky. You know, I don't mind selling it. And right. Let's face it. it she's having an auction of Donald. Trump's ring, the ring that he gave her for her engagement. I right. thought that was pretty good. Right. In other words, she's got enough money. She doesn't need to be going you and having auction. You spend too much on the ring. That's the good news. <laughs> When's her garage sale? I don't know, but it, you know, in all places, it's taking place in Michigan. I thought that was interesting also. Yeah, that's the mecca for uh, auctions. Yeah. It is? Yeah. I never heard that. So Mrs. Trump, Ivana, you put on there. That was very great. I thought it was good, and I, you followed suit, Howard. Yes, yeah, so is she treating you particularly well? Is that why you put her on there? Uh, I don't know if that's true. Now. She keeps taking my money, so, you know, I don't how know. Does she keep she keeps accepting money? my how does she, checks. How does she keep getting money for you? The checks never stop. I thought it was a lump sum. Well, it's for the children. And oh, this, for I, I, that. I, I Money see. is yeah, just never enough. Yeah, never but it just, it yes. just seems never to stop. By the way, I saw that, that, that you're upset with your daughter for posing sexy. I was surprised she wasn't on the list. Well, I was as well. <laughs> She's not. Oh. Please, Robin. Hey, oh. Robin. That would have been weird. Now, that would have been. That would have been a front page. Would you like me to put her on my list? Yeah. <laughs> not necessarily, Alex. Maybe I'll date your daughter. Not necessarily. <laughs> not necessarily dating either. What you is know it? What? Uh, I, I'll tell you. She has very good taste. She'd probably find you very attractive. Really? I don't know. I don't know if I would. <laughs> well, Howard, uh, yes. Go ahead. Go I ahead. met um, Donald's ex-wife and his daughter at this charity event a couple of weeks ago. They were yeah. uh, auctioning off sarongs for you know for charity. Yes. And uh, she, you know, she does does okay. She bought a couple of two or three thousand yeah. dollars wrong. She's beautiful. Who's the, who, Ivanka's really beautiful. Ivanka bought them or Ivana? Ivana. Ivana bought them. Ivana bought them. Oh, Ivana, well. Two dollars. I, don't know I hope that wasn't the money for the children. Yeah, well, Aww. probably. Yeah. And uh, number one.
and of course, smart again, a supermodel, Melania Cup. Well, she probably, in all fairness, beyond brains, probably deserves it. I mean, she is really beautiful. I have never met the woman, she's but I know you're. She's a Sports Illustrated swimsuit. She's in everything, and she's, you know, she's truly a beauty. So, are you still monogamous with her? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. What do you mean still? What do, of I course. mean, the last couple of weeks. Are, are you being monogamous? You mean now? for the last month? <laughs> yeah, for the last month, have you been monogamous? Absolutely. And you're enjoying being with one woman. I like it. I, you know, I also, I think the concept of marriage, you know what, and you, you haven't seen how it's the, article. the concept of marriage. You need a marriage every month. Donald, I love you. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. When you start talking about marriage, you're really funny. No, no, he I really believe. I believe in the institution. I love the institution of marriage. If you get married, you're going to unlock you in an institution. <laughs> it's, it's a crazy thing. It's situation. not for you. It's not for, Does Melania pressure you to uh, no, get married? No, she hasn't. She has she not. She hasn't. She's yet where is she now? She handles me exactly right. Well, I'm in my office. Right. And where is she? You left her in the bed? She just is someplace else. But right. I, well, I, I am been living with this time. You know, the last time the heat I took from this program when I was, <laughs> you know, thinking about being a politician <laughs> for right. about 15 seconds. Right. Yes, well, right. you're too busy making lists. You don't have time. Well, no, I did, yeah. But I did the show, and you said, where is Melania? Melania, And I yes. said, she's right here. And you said, does she have clothing on? Right. And it sort of came out that there wasn't a lot of clothing on. There was nothing on. And there was only a front page story in the New York Post. And That's it was right. Like, how can our president be having this conversation? Yeah, no. Why like, not? Like I want a president. Didn't say. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, he, didn't. <laughs> he didn't have the conversation. He got Melania, yes. Oh, no, no, she, she is really a beauty. And but you're not living with her again, are you? Uh, yeah, did you? You yeah, yeah. on and off. Really? Semi. She gets to live in the Trump estate? Well, it's a beautiful apartment, I will say. Wow. Oh, he's probably got 50 of them around the city. Oh, Give yeah. Right. You got, I know you got broads on the side. She's I your, your apartment's beautiful. She's get, oh, yes. Yeah, exactly. Not as good a building as Trump International. Well, of course not. Trump International is number one. <laughs> that is number one. It is. Now, all your buildings are. But listen, I am glad you've made this list. You have uh, set a new trend once again, and I believe this will become a very important list. I think it should. In fact, I can see TV show out of this. Yes, you know sir. what? Next year, Robin, I'm going to do a better list. Yeah, I think you should put some thought yeah. into this. Really? I have to yeah, devote at least a couple of minutes of thought. Yeah, I mean, Gwyneth Paltrow, please. Diane Sawyer. I mean, let's be honest. All right. All right. Anyway. Donald Trump, thank you well, so you much. you guys are great. Have a good time. And uh, good luck to you. And, uh, you know, we uh, always love when you call in the great Donald yeah, Trump. Good to talk to you. Thank you, Donald. Good, Robin. So long, Howard. Once again, Donald Trump has innovated by creating a top ten list. That's right. <laughs> it's very good. Horny. <laughs> 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 We're going to work on our list. Yeah, you guys really ought to. You're telling him to give it some thought. I'm, well, yeah, I'm going to really work on it. <laughs> I need, you know what? I'm going to really put some thought into it make a real All list, right. okay? I really mean because it. Because there could be a big presentation. And I don't like milk. I'll ask this fine lad if he listens to the Marauder's milk crates. Hey, you, with that stupid red hat on your head. A hat made in China, by the way. Get the fuck over here, you scumbag. Do you listen to the Milk Crate Marauder? Yes. Good. Good answer. Now, are you subscribed to his channel? What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Do you know the name of his backup channel? Nope. That wasn't the answer I was looking for. You know you done fucked up, right? You better tighten up, bitch. Because at this moment, you're safe for being P. Diddy's cellmate. Well, that would be an amazing thing if that happened. Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. You guys are retarded. Casey, what is it? Donald Trump is on the line. Up. Oh, the real Donald Trump? Yes. Hold on, Robin. We are being congratulated. Being, uh, I hope. Donald? How are you? I mean, Mr. Trump? How are you? I'm fine, and, uh,. You, of course, are a super developer, a casino guy, and a whole thing, and obviously you want to say a few words well, about... Well, you know, I just wanted to congratulate. I listened this morning, and I would not have known what to do if you were going to be off the air, Howard, believe it or not, around All of... 7 in the morning. The whole country was sitting on pins and needles. <laughs> it, it wouldn't have been a good start of the day, Robin, believe me, if he wasn't on. So I'm very happy that Mel did the right thing and paid up. Well, let me tell you something. Also, uh, a lot of people were concerned because I think me leaving the station would have affected the stock market. Well, I think maybe uh, the stock would have dropped in half if you left, Howard. I don't know. Hey, maybe listen. it'll drop in half when they see what you're getting paid. I don't know. <laughs> Never mind me. What's uh, really important is what hot piece of ass is lying next to you today. Well, right now I'm in the office working very diligently. Well, you have a hot piece of ass laying next to you in the office, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> don't I wish, Howard. Don't I wish. Are you still with it's Melania? Are you still with Melania Knaus? Yes, I am. 
let me tell you, I saw a picture of her the other day. Oh. Right. Uh, where the hell was it? I don't know, some magazine. She's wearing short shorts. What was it? The FHM calendar. Like FHM calendar. That's what it was. Oh, yeah, that's right. She did that, I believe. My, oh, she you does believe. A lot of, she does a lot of those things. and She's great. She's really beautiful, and she's mm. very nice. You're not kidding. You're not going to marry that broad, are you? <laughs> I think you've... I think, uh, has it been discussed, Donald? Oh. Everything gets discussed. <laughs> Why did I see you wearing a marriage equals death t-shirt the other day? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, always, you always have to have those prenups, Howard. You found out about that, right? Oh, yeah. Huh? No, but, I mean, you're never going to get married again. Well, I don't, I, you know, I love the institution of marriage, Howard, to be honest with you. I, I know you great. do. You know, when you have somebody and you're married, it's a little different. And I do love the institution. What I don't like is if you have to dissolve it. Right. It gets very nasty. Uh, it, it's not a pretty picture. I guess she's sitting right next to this. <laughs> no, 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 she's actually not, but... But it, it's not a pretty picture. I found that out with Ivana. I found it out to a much lesser extent with Marla. Right. But, but Ivana, yeah, was quite, nice... Ivana was quite vicious oh. in her going after me. <laughs> Don't I remember? I had to stick up for you. I was you one... did. You really stuck up for I me. Did. I did. I, I, but listen, uh, now you're happy. Melania leaves you alone and obviously sexually pleases you. I know you're, you've are you been called one of the best. Uh, you've been called a coxman. You're one of the best in bed. Really? Yes. You remember the quote? That may have been the, gra the the most complimentary quote I've ever had. Forget about making lots of money. It doesn't mean anything. That was the <laughs> that, ultimate. Uh, that headline huh, is the best. Well, that let was me the tell you number something. one selling paper. That was that was a nice headline. I very much appreciate the post. <laughs> he is really uh, JFK the third. You know, we lost JFK Jr. Yeah, sadly. Oh, uh, yeah. Donald Trump has become JFK the third. You think? With the, well, yeah, his Playboy uh, attitude, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I have a good time. He was a great guy. He was a great friend of mine. That was a terrible thing. That was unbelievable. Thank God it wasn't you. Well, I guess you could say that. <laughs> yeah, right. it, it was terrible. Yeah, no, it really was bad. And and the thing is, though, on happier note, I will be back for five years. That's great. And, of, and of course, you know, you're always welcome on this show whenever you want to be. Well, I know that. But, you know, I, I just selfishly, I would have really missed you. And I, I really felt that there was no, I think they had no choice, to be honest with you. But I look at no, your ratings. Me, they your did. ratings and, you know, for the people that... I look at the ratings, the ratings are huge. I know. And I just felt they probably had no choice. I would love to see the increase. You know, I, I heard Penny before. Yes. Uh, you know, just trust me, Penny, wherever the hell you are, it was huge. <laughs> what are you doing over the holidays? Are you having... I'm going to go to Florida. I'll be in Palm Beach. You bang everyone. You never banged Penny Crone, did you? Oh, no, no. No, I like Penny a lot. I would not bang her. You would not. All right. All right. I wouldn't do that out of respect for her. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to ruin her. Uh, Donald, thank you so much for calling in. The great Donald Trump. Well, thank I you. love you. I love you both. Have a good time. Congratulations. Happy, uh, happy New Year to you. I'll, I'll see you soon, Howard. That's Donald well, bye Trump. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Robin. Who you is? And I don't like milk. Donald Trump's on the phone. Uh, he can't call in tomorrow because of a flight scheduling problem, so he wanted to quickly get on the air. He is not coming in live. No, no, he was always calling in. I did not know that. Uh, D Donald. Howard. How are you? And by the way, your uh, arch enemy, uh, A.J. Benz, is here. A.J.'s a nice guy. I like him, even though I hear he said negative things about me in his book. Just one chapter's worth, that's all. I can't believe it. Come did on. you know you went after his girlfriend? Yes, no, I did knew. more. I stole his girlfriend, oh. but I didn't know I was stealing his yeah, girlfriend, he's Robin. He's so new. He's so new. Hey, A.J., yeah. nobody told me I was stealing your girlfriend. Nobody nobody told me that was your girlfriend. I know. Well, you've heard Donald, isn't one of guy, so I have to believe you. Well, you well, wait a second. Isn't it one of the greatest things in the world to be able to steal A.J.? His girlfriend. I just ask, didn't know it. You know what? I've always liked AJ. Yeah. AJ rightfully can't stand me now, and I can understand that. No, I don't. But wait I a minute, Donald. That. But at the time, at the time, uh, I did something that I didn't know I was doing. I had no idea it was AJ's girlfriend, and it's one right, of those little me, things. Let me fast Who was the oh, Go ahead. Fast fast what is on Dayton Carr Young? Okay. I moved to L.A. So me and Car break up. So she was a free agent. You know, even though we right. were still up. She was, so I don't. So what I don't, are you faulting I don't, I'm not, uh, Listen, I'm not mad that he went after and we broke up. But then we, I got back to town, and, we, and I approached Donald at a party at Charles Evans' house, and I said, Hey, this is not some arm piece for me. I love this girl. Now, stay away. I had naked pictures of your wife a long time ago when I was a cool guy and gave you the shots. And he said, You're right. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, hold it a second. You on, had you naked pictures of Donald Trump? Of Ivana or Ch No, no. Ch Chuck Jones was sending Xeroxes out. All right, go ahead, yeah. And I gave him to Donald. He said, AJ, you're a stand-up guy. Then he forgets what I did for him. Now, if he was cool, he would have walked away. I realize you can't make any girl sleep. Of with course. You. I understand that. But as a man's man, he should have said, no. hey, there's plenty of girls out there. I'm sorry. I would have done Don't number hit one. on AJ's girl. I gave him a warning. I no, no, number one, I'm going to say something here. I got I to take a little umbrage with you. Uh-oh. Number one, 
You were broken up with the girl. But when I got back with it, he was... Trump... Hit, wait a second. Trump starts going out with her. He starts developing feelings. Fine. You broke up with her. No, Let we, her we, decide. We dissolve, we dissolve but wait a little. second. It's her decision at that point. He didn't go after her when you were with her. I, you know, yes, he did. The second oh. time around, he did. The okay, second, because he saying. already had feelings for her. You but broke up with minute. her. But, but I succeeded. But here's, here's the, the problem. No, First of all, we have to say question. she's a wonderful girl. You know, she's really a fantastic girl. Must be if you guys are fighting over. How do I no, get no, her? No, no, don't fight over. We don't. Nobody's fighting. Let me just wait a minute. I gotta clear this up. She is a wonderful Robin. She's a wonderful girl. Did you know? You knew AJ wanted her. Second time you knew. Well, no, the second time, but by that time, I was there. Yeah. I mean, what, what am I going to do? I was there. AJ, you AJ little, wait, once you're there, you're no, there. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm being serious. AJ, you're a little out of line with this this what? time. No, no, no. Because, wait a second. You, you guys broke up. He starts to develop a relationship with her and feels for her. Right. You suddenly march back in. All right, this is no arm so candy. Night, I want her. The night that I approached Be him. Be a stand-up guy and no. back off. Well, the night I approached him, he should have been standing up and said, you know what, AJ? I really don't remember that, though, AJ. I must be honest. Where did you approach yeah, me? I saw you at Charles Evans' party. Yeah, but I just, I remember seeing it. I, I don't remember saying it. I was with it. Carl that night. And, I, and you said, no, no. He was, she should have said, you know what? I got feelings for the girl. I don't know. Or maybe he had feelings for the he girl. He should have said that. I He's not going to tell you that. Donald, do you ever back off for any you're a guy? Because you're a gossip. You know what? I've always liked AJ. Although, and again, I hear he treats me lousy in the book. But, you know, he should treat me bad. I took his girlfriend. <laughs> if somebody took my hey, AJ, if somebody took my girlfriend, I'd treat, I'd treat that person very bad. I've already done that to you, but you don't know about it. <laughs> what does that mean? I've been, I've been there a few years ago. What are oh, you talking really? about? You took one of his girls? I didn't take Who that. did you take from no, Donald no Trump? No names, no names, no. I, d I don't believe so, AJ. What do you think? You're the world's greatest lover? Well, well, I'm not, I, I've been very successful with your girlfriend, I can tell you that. <laughs> you know what? I got news, I got news for you. I mean, you know, it bothered you a lot. I hey, AJ, look, it bothered you a lot, and it should bother you a lot. She tells me how successful you were, too, and you don't sound that great, and she tells me you cut your own hair. Is that true? But meanwhile, wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait a what second. Is going wait a on second. Here? Wait a second. She told, no, she told me you were losing your hair, AJ, and that you've, you're going for transplant. Well, you've Are you going blocked. for transplant, you AJ? No, I don't. I didn't go. I'm not going to go. But you, are you, you going? Because I, I had heard that. I had heard you're going. I mean, you know, you I think plumbed. it's fine. But I think you, it's good luck and all. Wait, but I heard you were going. No, no, shut up. You got plums. Does the world know that? No, no, no. I know all the dirt. But AJ, AJ, let me ask you a question. Throw rocks. Did you call me up? Wait a second. Oh, yes, I did. We Wait a second. AJ, Donald. Did you call me up and beg me to leave no, your girlfriend alone? No, what beg? I bro oh. Read the column. Man, you know, I Donald, said, can I go to Mar-a-Lago? Me and her were broken up. Did he really call you and You were not broken up, AJ. Hey, AJ. No, when I She was Donald, with me the day she convinced you to go to California to get rid of you. Come on, AJ. You know. What? The day I convinced... What? Who? But what? Donald, how did you feel following AJ? Seriously. Did you... Uh, I didn't even think about it. Really? He no, thinks of nothing but himself. He doesn't think of nobody but himself. I assume AJ's clean. I hope he's clean. But I assume well, he, AJ's clean. Meanwhile, this is what he bangs up Russian people up. You know, I don't Russian, people. Russian, Russian people? Russian people? Russian people? Russian people? Who, who are you me. talking about, Russian listen AJ? Me, listen, I don't know anything. Listen, listen, listen to me. He used to call me when I was a columnist. <laughs> he used to call me when I was a columnist and say, yeah, Look, hey, AJ wouldn't... Hey, hey, Howard. Yeah. Howard. AJ wouldn't feel this way. The girls have no more. If he won. You know, when you win... He's out of his mind. Howard, when you win, you don't feel the way he feels. Why'd you win? You got stuck with the Stepford wife. Why did you win? Wait a I'm second. I'm best friends with Carl. I won, you win. Look, I I won your girlfriend, AJ. AJ, you you're a stand-up guy. AJ, wow. I won your girlfriend. How did you win? You know it. How, wait, I'll say, how did you win? <laughs> you know it. it wasn't she knows it, fault. and everybody knows it. I won your girlfriend. I wish you'd call right now, because... I know you, she, she... AJ, I have AJ. indisputable proof, and she, you know it. You know what? All right, let me favor. Let me favor. What are you talking can about, you, Can you call a cell phone 400 times again last week, you did last week, and just keep hanging up on her? Who does? You. Oh, we always Don't know it's you. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, my God. Sends the you're ridiculous. saying Donald yes, he Trump, ha he's got the most beautiful you. woman. He's got. Oh, okay. You're saying he you calls thing. her cell phone. Here's the best thing. Here's AJ, best thing. AJ, 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 if you, if you yeah. wanted to really I, say the truth, you'd know exactly what was happening. Okay, happen. you know what? You know what? Why don't you try going back to her, AJ? We're best friends. She was with me two nights for my book party. Well, why don't you go, I mean, go back yes, to her. See if you can get her back. I'm why don't you go back with her? I'm not trying to do that. She's got a boyfriend. We're totally best friends. I don't care about it. You're not going to be able to go back to her, I'm not going back to her. You ruined her. Unfortunately, I've ruined that for you, AJ. Whether you like to admit it or not. Donald, I love when guys have about poop tank. Here's the best. Is it really? Is any girl worth two guys having a here's feud over? I'm not feuding, feuding over. over. I'm very happy where I am. I'm so not feuding over. Carl. You did her and you're happy, right, Donald? Let me tell you something. I'm Listen. very happy where I am. And Listen AJ, you did her and you're no, happy. I had just heard. Let me, hey, Howard. Yeah. I had just heard that AJ was very venomous in the book. I'm not going to read the book, but right. he, read I was very, he, exactly he was very the venomous most, in the book to the me. The only reason he was venomous is, is that I stole his girlfriend, no, but I didn't no. know I was stealing her. I've hated you before you even had my girlfriend. I, I really? Well, I just okay. think you're the most I can understand in New York City.
Now, wait a second. Now, we're getting personal. Now, wait a second. Now, let's get personal. One more thing. See, Can here's I, the thing. Here's what I want to ask. What's more personal than girlfriend? Personal. <laughs> you, Jesus. I see it this way. If I could be Solomon for a second. Yes. I'm not taking sides because I love both I of like you guys. I like the way in. Diplomat. Go we'll ahead. let <laughs> Elephant Boy be Solomon, okay? Yeah. And, I don't, and I don't hate Donald Trump. I don't. You shouldn't. I don't well, hate you him. you sound awfully I, angry. Don't you want to go to Mar-a-Lago? I've been there. I hate the way How is it? You hate the way he acts? Fun place, but it's like for blue-haired people. That's for me. I got blue hair. Okay. What do you mean you hate the way he acts? I don't like his personality. I think he's like a, he's a little too pompous around town for me. Uh, you know? All right, let me I say so. Know. Let me say so. But AJ, yes. but I think you're a nice guy. Well, you got to say I really do. I think you're a nice guy. Donald, thanks for taking the high road. And on I would if I would have known road, that she was with you, I wouldn't have started going out with her in the first place. I want to see more. You know, we have we have to Howard. We have to preface it by saying one thing. She's a very very fine. Now I bring proof in tomorrow. Now I kill What's you. the proof? Well, does you want me to go with this? I'll kill him tomorrow. Proof of what? I'll bring proof of how low down, how stupid this guy is. Oh, Why are you saying that? I will that? bring in things. He sends he sends things to paper from the news that have clippings of all his articles. He sends uh, circles his name and writes billionaire. You have no idea. He's uh, nonsense. Uh, That's tomorrow, nonsense. Tomorrow, Total tomorrow nonsense. the world sees oh, Tomorrow God. the world sees right. How about a boxing match, Donald? You and AJ. Let's settle this once and for all. Hey, Alex, listen, hey, hey, uh, listen to this. Minutes. Go ahead. Um, AJ, just a couple of questions. Did you call my secretary seven times? No. To I ask, don't. to beg her, to beg her with tears in your eyes. Oh my God, no. Please <laughs> have Donald oh. leave her alone. I want no. to try and get her Never back. Never in my life. I oh, called, I called her once. No. But you're both making no, no, wait, wait, wait. Did you he, call my secretary, no. Norma, one, seven two. times begging, begging me not to go out because you're trying to get her back? No. I'm not trying to get her back. This, right, this okay. is two years well, ago. And I called well, Donald, once. both of you are. Listen, it's a he shame. Look, I hate phone. to see this. It's he not a shame. She's a good girl. I hope she has a new boyfriend. I think she has a new boyfriend. Think. You constantly. She tells me AJ is trying to get her back. I don't know if that's true or not. Let me be silent here. But AJ, let's end this for a second. For a second. This will never end. But a lie like this, you can't be the lie like that. No, wait a second. I think I'm going to do that. Let me hear your take on this. All right, let me give you my take. AJ's dating a girl, mm -hmm. Kara Young. They go together. They break up. They didn't break up, yes, Howard. We they were did. together when I went out with her, no, but I, I didn't know that. This they didn't break up. All right. Howard, He's I saying that to LA. put a positive Howard, spin. I was in L.A. I was, we broke up. All right, she was with me so when you flew out to let's L.A. Give AJ, let's give all. A.J. the benefit of the doubt. Donald, 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 she told me that she convinced you to go out to L.A. because she wanted to go her way. She No. And by the way, when you were with her... She did you a favor, A.J. You got a good job. When you were with her and she did Playboy, she was with me in L.A. I don't even know about that. Oh, bulls. This guy's out of his mind. Oh, I don't even just know about that. Know. A German playboy. She was your girlfriend and she came to my place that time. Hey, AJ, let me tell you. Three days let me tell you a little room. secret. What? I what have right now a great girlfriend. I'm happy no. as hell. I don't know if you do. Then stop making But I suggest you try going back to Kara. Hey, listen to me. Stop calling <laughs> Kara's cell phone if you love me. Oh, stop it. I haven't at all. All right, you, can I say something, to throw Donald? Stones, I got I got a brick. But he's throwing stones and you're throwing stones. Let me say something. Let me say what I think. Who's wrong? Despite the fact, AJ. If you're not with a girl anymore, Donald Trump goes, and Donald even says he was with her. I'm was giving the second go around. Not well, the he was. Round. No, wait, he wait, was wait. with her when I first started. Going okay, I wasn't. I wasn't. So 100 percent. And he you was didn't with her. No, All right. So if Donald, and she dumped him. Right, and if Don or, or whoever dumped time. who, if time. Donald goes out, I would not at all. I don't think that they are so different than each other. Right, oh. and that's the rub. I think that. I think obviously there's an age different, and AJ's you know a little bit more wilder guy, but they both have very big egos. Who's better in bed? <laughs> that was one of the questions. Oh, no. Did you? No, I'm not going to talk about Donald. Donald that. feels. I talk about Donald feels. You, Donald feels cool. he ruined you no, for AJ. No, they're cool both. Bad. I think. You know, maybe it was the luckiest day of their life or the most unlucky day of their life that they met me. I, I was a compliment to both of them, and they both know that. It was my luckiest day. Did Donald honest, steal you? you from AJ? No, he didn't steal me from Thank AJ. You. AJ was already moving away to L.A. Thank you. So why are you mad? I, so, did, I, so, did meet, I did meet Donald, and, you know, it was he was an intriguing person. I met him, and... Um, Donald, you're still there, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And I started, I started seeing him, and I felt like I couldn't. It's not someone that you could go out with a couple of times right. without, <laughs> without it being pretty well known. Yeah, he calls the papers himself. That's why he came in. Oh, uh, that's nice, AJ. Uh, hey, no, but wait, how come you sent me a letter asking me to be on your show last week? I didn't do it. My, my, my. Oh, really? I was well, mortified. how come? Let me ask you a question. Did your show send me a letter begging yes. me to be on the no. show? Because I have it right in front of me. I know they did it, but it had nothing to do with it. Oh, you had nothing I had, to do with it. I was more. You don't run your own show. I was mortified. No, they weren't you in the right, audience. Okay. Ass face. Wait a second. Oh, wait. You know what? I can't believe that you're still doing this after. Uh, Maybe he did. He called in. Car, you must be good. Everybody loves you. He called in. No, he was calling in to promote the Miss Universe. Donald feels like I come off like a whore in the book. Like I cheated. No, he said he didn't read it. He said he didn't read it. 
Okay, well, I don't lie. appreciate that because I don't think that's the way that I came off, you and that's did. not what happened. You didn't. Did you read the book? No. Yes, of course I did. Did you love it? I loved it. Picard. It's like the kid stays in the picture. It made me cry. It's a great... But Cara, let me ask you a question. It's not exactly... I'm sorry, but it's not exactly factual. Things happen in different orders She's than they right. happened. She's right. And it is exaggerated in some parts. But I was like Solomon. That's the Cara, I, like Solomon, I'm trying to solve this. Right. You and AJ had a relationship. Yes, we did. Okay. You guys broke up for whatever reason. I don't right. care what the reason is. Donald Trump meets you. You guys, you guys are together. But Cara, you were going with AJ when I met you. Yeah. That's when you, not when you met her, Cara yeah. just Cara. Yes. You were going with AJ when I met you. When you met her, yes, but not when I when I when you started yes, dating. Yes, but you know what? I'm not going to tell lies here. So oh, no, is that a correct statement, Cara? Yeah. Yes. Did you date him and while you, you were dating AJ, AJ after you met me? Is that is that correct? Yes. Okay, that's all right. I said, Howard. He, he, he was already. He left AJ Howard. He left AJ after she met me. Being another girl. All right, right. so you left. So, Kari, you left I was AJ. Seeing somebody else in LA. After. Right. He no. was seeing someone else. Right. But, and, Cara, that was before. No, Look. It wasn't. Okay, so if Donald no. Trump. You would go, wait a minute, Howard. Howard. Right. He's wrong. Howard. Go ahead. She's you, telling you. She's telling you flat Cara. out. No, he's Howard. She's agreeing. Listen to me for one. AJ, listen to me for one second. I had a girlfriend, ass. Listen for one second. Listen to one second. You and Cara were going out together. You were going out to California, but you were still very much with Cara. No, I, I didn't know that. No, I was not. I started going with Cara while you and Cara were fully in bloom and Baby fully going out. And then in. Cara left. Baby is that correct, in. Cara? You know what? I think this is childish. No, I, I agree with that. Absolutely, absolutely is. Is. It's great. I think she it's just sad it's that true. two grown men are doing this. It's I can't take lies, though. I can't take his lies. He's not lying, it's though. not a lie. Cara just said it's not true. What's wrong with you guys? Oh, Cara says it's not true. Cara says it is true. No, it, Cara, say it again, baby. What? She said it's not true. What's not true? Cara and AJ were going together. Listen, listen. We decided to give up on a long-distance relationship. Thank you. Okay, yes, so fine. Me. So let's move on. Uh, didn't I, you decide to give up? Didn't you decide to give up after you met me? <laughs> Come on, Cara. Tell them the truth. You gave up on the relationship after you met me. What? I was moving to California. Well, Let her no answer. one can be taken away from someone else. Right. Right. I agree. I said that earlier. All right. So why now, is Donald... Minute, you so got why, back so, together with hey, her? Hey, Howard, I only called here... Hey, Howard, just so you understand, yeah. I called about Miss Universe. I, I didn't know. call about this. I know that. That's a pretty strange coincidence. And you I didn't even know AJ was in your studio. Donald, you're just going to promote AJ's book and make his... I don't care. I don't let his book it out. Clearly, you love him and that's what you want to do. The only thing I want people to understand is that you know, when AJ says I like publicity, he's no. the one that wrote me a letter begging me to be on his but show. You do love publicity. Lie. I you love to be in the paper. That's the way it's you okay. are. What is it, Gary? It's not a bad it's thing. That's it's a true thing, though. I got but, Cara, I got but this question. morning I called up about the Miss Universe contest, and all of a sudden I'm in this thing with AJ. Maybe he picks today. I don't know. Right. I'm sorry. By the way, Donald, I didn't. I, I hope you know I wasn't setting you up. I just wanted you guys to. No, he he listens on Howard Stern. He listens to Howard Stern every I morning. Like I like Donald a lot. Yeah. Howard, I got a quick question for Cara. This is Gary. I just called Cara to get her on the phone. I was trying to explain to her a little bit of what was going on. And I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go on, but I said, we can settle this. Cara, what AJ was saying that Donald was calling you incessantly trying to get you back. Is it he true doesn't or not? call me and try to get me back. He, calls he did you not. Incessantly. He used to, baby. That's not true. He used to. Cara, tell the truth. It's not true. I don't want to say anything <laughs> to hurt oh. any relationship you may be in I at this time, so room. I'll just drop that. I just want to clear up. Tell them it's not true, that I hadn't called you to get you back. I mean, that's the truth. I have not called you to get you back. What did he say? She's got a girlfriend now, man. She's trying to be cool to him. I understand what she's doing. Oh, that's nonsense. That's All right, nonsense. listen, listen, listen. There's one other this bone of contention. I think this is one crazy. One other bone I'm the of only contention. single person. Hmm. Did... Uh, you date both Donald and AJ at the same That's time no when secret. you two got back together. No, I didn't. See? I could listen. I did not handle that situation that, properly, and I wish I would have handled it differently than I did. I was in a long distance relationship, and I should have been very, very clear that I was dating someone else. I was married for a long time, and after I was married all of the '90s, so when I started dating. In the 80s, you could date two people and then kind of decide who you wanted to be with, and that was that. And I didn't handle that properly, right. and it's something that I'm not proud of, and I can't believe that four years, five years later, I'm still hounded and ridiculed by it. No like, one's ridiculing you know, you. I'm You're not being ridiculed. Friend, ridiculed. Jesus, I was just... You're not being ridiculed, but when somebody calls and starts lying about the way... He wasn't lying, talking, though, so far, was, was he? So far, so, so far, you haven't... Hey, excuse me, Howard. Really so far, I've been borne out 100%. Excuse me, Cara, didn't you just say... I, she just said it's not true with what he said before. What's well, I mean, there's a timeline guy? thing here. That I wouldn't are, say 100%, Tom. She just said you're not yeah, true. But, I can't believe she said it's but not but true. But she is saying that, listen, you guys did not have an exclusive relationship. Laura just said, 
what Donald said was not true. Why does he think that he's 100% right? I can't believe this guy. What was not true? What's not true? She, he said we dated at the same time. Carl said it's not true. We did date at the same time. I didn't know it. The only difference is I was the guy that didn't know it. Baby, could you say Hey, AJ, let me tell you something. Had I known that you... Carl, what did you say? Say it again, Carl. Say it again, Carl. We did not date at the same time. Thank you. Now, why can't this ass hear I met, I met you when I... I met you when I was going out with AJ, That's true. and I started. I don't even understand was, uh, what you're it was arguing about. Already. Well, that is the same thing. I know. AJ's I, know. I know, but my I point of view is this. It, that even backs it up even more. While you but that, hey, Howard, that is the same time. She you just met said she met you, Howard. She, yeah. met she just said she, she met me while oh she was going God. out with AJ. She what, met is that you. She wasn't time? your girlfriend yet. What's wrong AJ, with AJ, the fact is, I didn't know it. But you right. weren't. Oh, my but, God. But what's I the didn't difference? know it. My point, wait, wait AJ. If I would have known it, I wouldn't have done it. But here's the point. He's telling you. All she did is meet him when she was She went out with both you guys. Why not just leave it at that? You all had a good time I together. I can't take his lies, man. I don't think he's really... I mean, he oh. thinks that... You, I mean, it's not It's not such a big issue. It he is. didn't steal your girlfriend. He went out with her. What he says. And you said, back off. But why should exactly, he back off? He says, exactly, he says, I stole your girl. He's been saying it. And that's Listen, not you both I know, have but he, but, very but, big uh, mouths. Uh, you both have very big mouths. And has anything ever happened that was improper? Has anybody ever tried to see me when they shouldn't have? Yes, course, they have. Oh. And that is a fact. And, and everybody knows it. And I don't do not want to go on and on about oh. it. Because I didn't act entirely properly. Nor did you I got to tell you something, honey. On the phone. This, is got, this is great advertising for you, man. You're some hot chick. You got that? Don Donald Trump, Trump and AJ Benson this, both love you. This, 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 let me tell you something about Cara, and I, I'll take this to my grave, and I've said it all the time. And I say it in my book, she is the most beautiful girl, the funniest girl, the best friend I have in the planet, for real. Is this she, the love of your life? Yeah, absolutely. This unequivocally love of my life, unequivocally. So what are you doing? So Go get I her back. I don't mind that a man. I already said in my book what I what I what I hope to have happen is. When but don't I'm be back, mad at Trump. Then. I'm not mad at him for what happened. I know the ways of love. I understand that. I, I'm really a. a, a, a I understand love and passion. Can I say something? A girl this like good a looking, tons like of guys like are going to hit on her every you day. I don't know that. If she loves her. you, she's going to stay with you. I understand you. that, and she did. I just don't like a man who just just takes his shoot. I was together with AJ a year and a half. And Trump's saying, hey, he fell for her too. He had a nice relationship with her. Why argue with each other? I'm not, I argue with his It's a feather in your cap, AJ. Yeah. I don't think of it that way. This ain't like you. No, no, no. view it positively. View it positively. I'm sorry? Just view it very positively. There's nothing wrong. I mean, just take it nice and easy. You wrote a book. You said things in the book that weren't true. Well, you didn't read it. How do you know? Because I was told. Oh, you were told. Four right. people called me up and they said, AJ said this and that. I mean, you said about me with publicity, now and yet four. you send me Howard. Four, right, baby? Now he sends me a letter. I have it right in front of me, begging me to be on his first show. I didn't write he the letter. He wants to be on his I first show. I can't, I can't take this guy. I didn't All right, write right the listen, letter. listen. Let, let me talk. Hey, hey Cara. Cara, thank By you. By the way, Howard, which I turned down. Yeah, I know, yes. because we want them so bad. <laughs> Thank but you. you know what? It, Car just because a relationship doesn't continue and doesn't work out doesn't mean that, you know, we all grew from it and Absolutely. learned things. I want to meet you. I don't know if he's... Howard, you, you know what? The bottom my, line... Uh, yeah. Howard, yeah. you know the bottom line? Howard. And what I think it? it's positive. <laughs> right. We've all gone separate ways. I right. have a girlfriend who's a terrific She's girl. Terrific. Cara has, from what I understand, a terrific boyfriend. Yes. And AJ, I think, or I hope, has a good girlfriend. Hey, uh, thanks for hoping, man. I I'm doing okay. <laughs> I don't know. Do you or not? Listen, I'm doing AJ has a new show now. Fine. I'm doing yeah. fine. Well, I think right. Cara's doing fine. And All I'm I know fine. is now I really want to Cara. Fine. And I want to read AJ's fine. book, <laughs> and I'm going to watch Miss Universe. AJ's Cookie. book is amazing. All right. It's a great book. And, and Cara's the best it's one It's a beautiful story. Cara's the best one Cara, can you send me pictures if I give you my email address? <laughs> oh, God bless you, honey. You Howard be... now wants the day, Jerry. I need I've a date. I've seen you before. You just don't recall. Really? Where did I yes. see you? I just have. I saw you at, uh, mm -hmm. what do you call it? We, AJ and I went to your movie premiere. Yeah. Oh. And what else? I saw you at Jean George the other night. You did? Really? And you went to my cousin Pam's restaurant, P Palma, on Cornelia Street. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, That's my cousin. Restaurant? Oh, I didn't know I that. I had no idea he was yeah. talking about that. Did you like the food? Yes, I was at John George the other night. No, no at Palma. Palma. And I was at Palma the How other night. How did you like John George, nice Howard? Thing. John George is, the, is a genius. Yeah, he's, he's really considered the best restaurant in New York. That's, and he's located in your building. I he's was over there the building. other night. He's in my building. I was going to call you, but I don't it know. It is a great... Well, call me. I will. It's a good. Well, I don't know By the way, Howard, would you do me a favor? Yes. You would you tell out? your listeners yeah, to watch okay. the Miss Universe badge? Let me tell you something. After the radio you Donald, just did. Read AJ's book on the plane. <laughs> we want to see Mr. France. Of course, uh, we want to watch the Miss Universe second, badge. One second. One <laughs> second. Hey, Donald. Yeah. After the radio you just did. I'm going to promote it 60,000 times tomorrow. Something. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Hey, Donald, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I, I know you're right, another, another kind you of guy. You guys be nice. You know what, AJ? We're both both Gemini's. Along. We're both Gemini's. We're both big ego guys. I understand that. You're good for New York. I just wish you'd tell the truth a little more. And no one exaggerates. Yeah, sure. Yeah, right. Sure. Uh, well, Cara, uh, you're beautiful, so I'm going to thank you first. 
Okay. All right. Thank you for coming on, and I'm going to let you go back to your. Hey, Howie, you promote Miss Universe, Cara. Take care of yourself. Hey, hey. Well, Donna, wait. I hey, want to hey, ask you a question. Hey, hey Cara, I'm going to pay back that two thousand dollars. I heard he said yeah, I owe you two grand. Cara, thanks for coming on. Okay. Okay. Hey, right. Donald, I just want to say something. The, the, when they were accusing one of the girls in the Miss Universe, I'm watching. I wish she was France. Miss France accusing her of being a guy. That's yeah, very tough. Did I mean, you? It was very tough. First of all, she wasn't. Right. Second of all, she's How, really did beautiful. Did you check her out? Yeah, did you pull her panties down and look? <laughs> I, I tell you, if, if you ever took a look at her, you'd probably want to do that. She's I beautiful. Sh I saw her on TV. She's, she's beautiful. Really beautiful. How did you find out whether or not she was? Well, a man? I guess they have professionals that go in and do that stuff. But she's a, you know, they use the expression natural born woman. She's a natural born Why woman. Why would a rumor like that start? I don't know. It's terrible. Large clitoris. You know, it's been a terrible period of time for her. And I hope she does great in the contest because she's beautiful and she's nice and she's suffered. Could it hurt her chances because she was accused of being a man? I don't know. Man? Maybe it helps her chances because people feel sorry for her. You know, I mean, she went through a lot. But let me ask you this. This is Miss France, Mr. right? Mr. France. Mr. France, whatever. <laughs> if, she had, if it had been proven that at one time she was a man and she did have a sex change operation... Would you have allowed her to stay in the contest? No, she can't. She can't. It's against the rules. Why? Oh, she so won she her. She would have been disqualified and the runner-up for Miss France. You know, this uh, this whole Miss Universe has been sort of a wild thing. Um, and did you know that Naomi and Elle McPherson are doing the hosting this year, which oh. is going to be great. But Donald, she won her national pageant. She won her national. She was so what, a guy. Right, what would happen, uh, what would happen, Robin, she would now be disqualified and the runner-up, would then represent France. You got the broads and bikinis this year again? Uh, very much so. Nice. But the judges are hotter than the contestants, though, with Naomi and Ella. Ella and amazing. Naomi. Well, they're beautiful. What do you and, care? You tune in, you see lots and, of hot chicks. You know, the women are incredible. The uh, I, I would love you, Howard. I'd yeah. love you to be a judge sometime. I would like to do it. I would love to do that. I'll do that. Yeah. I mean, you'd do it right now. You'd hop in a plane tomorrow. If you if you, you fight, got an opening? You fight, I, mean, I, I was actually looking forward. I'm going to be on a plane tomorrow morning over the ocean. Honestly, I was looking forward to doing your show tomorrow, but now I look forward to doing it now. But uh, you should be a judge, Howard. Really? So we'll put you down for next year. Hey, by the way, Elephant Boy wants to just say a quick hello to you. He loves you. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, hi, Mr. Twine. How are you, Elephant Boy? <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's, just, it's just good for him. What listen, a day. What a day. Listen, Miss Universe is this Friday at 9 o'clock on right, CBS, CBS. Broadcast live from Puerto Rico. Right. And tomorrow... Uh, because of this incredible radio that you and AJ just did. This is an uh, FME, I think. I, I think oh, you guys yeah. got it. Yeah, you're oh, going to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this Definitely is award winning. I'm going to share an FME. Uh, AJ and Donald have never been afraid to, to hash it out right in Mix public. It up. You, you're brave men, both of you. I, you know, I got a lot more respect from today. I yep. really do. And this you're not really going to follow not. through on all those things. I got a crazy temp. Oh, he's fine. Know. He's safe and sound. Oh, all right, there you go. <laughs> I could have got him years ago if I wanted to get him. <laughs> 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 I don't even need a John George. Donald, you're going to need a John George? Donald, Donald, I'll take the two grand car that I didn't pay car back. I'll bring it to your restaurant. I'll leave a John George. <laughs> I'll do all those nice things. Uh, you will, you'll pay her back. I have no doubt. Did. And I hope you do well, and I hope, you sh I hope your book does well, and I hope your show does well. well and, and I will promote Miss Universe tomorrow. Hey, Howard, yeah. honestly, yes. I want you to promote the hell out of it. I will do it for you, my <laughs> okay, friend. Babe. All right, thank you. Have a good time. Bye, all right, Donald. Donald Trump. Man, that was Woo! something, AJ. That was worth having me in for the whole week. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you just made all your money. You know, what made it, what made it great was the car called it. Was that, that, that was yeah. beautiful. That we needed that. That was beautiful. I love when you fight over chicks. <laughs> I, you never... know, I don't fight over girls. I fight about. She's dynamite. She's oh, nice. I just saw the pictures of her. We How tall? have never had five, a five fight nine. like that. Five How nine. tall is she? Five nine. Five nine. But the thing people don't know about her, she's she's a great. Like she has her legs. blades every day, like three miles with them around the west side. She's great. Are those real boobs? That car is the most real girl I know. All right, those are not real though. Those have to be enhanced. But who cares? She's the best. Who cares about it? Exactly. She Everything should shave good. a little more. What? what? Don't you don't like that, huh? Too much hair. Oh. <laughs> she goes back and she runs back and forth. Mm. That's the best picture I think of. Hey, is this on a web page uh, my audience can no, see? No, that was German Playboy. How do it people see this? I'm sure it's on a web page How did we get them? Because we're on the web. Autocardname.com. Everything, everybody's got that now. Boy, a lot of nice naked pictures of this, bro. Yeah. What's, uh, what's up? I think we found it on some site, extremecelebs.com. Yeah. Okay. And then look on you know, the site is trumphadyoufirst.com. <laughs> <laughs> Girls I stole from AJ.com. Oh, well, Robin, I, I got to wrap up. <laughs> oh, what a crazy show. It's 11 yeah. o'clock. Uh, oh. Anything is there else? Anything that must be mentioned? Uh, e. Taylor's condition. She oh. is still in critical condition. God, man. Wow. She is That's the victim sad. of uh, a car crash. A guy who is driving looked down at his cell phone. They say the cell phones are a national menace. And uh, Nikki is still trying to recover from lacerations to her liver as a result of that accident. Hey, Elephant Boy, I'm going to give you a gift for coming in today. Uh, you've won a $600 gift certificate to proflowers.com. For Mother's Day, I want you to give your mom the beautiful bouquet and to that beautiful girlfriend of yours. Wow. You can oh spend the God. 600 any way you want.
Well, Thank how you nice. so much. And proflowers.com rocks. Log on today to order the freshest flowers direct from the grower at proflowers.com. Do it quick before Sunday, okay, uh, Elton Boy? Uh, I'll be behind the computer right now. Okay, we're going to make you a hero. He's not also, even going to go home. To mm-hmm. anybody listening out there right now, goldenpalace.com. Register now for this million dollar giveaway they got going on because you could end up on our show and we're going to give away the million right here. And it's going to be done in a very interesting way. Uh, Donald Trump, Miss Universe, Friday, 9 o'clock, CBS broadcast live from Puerto Rico. A.J. Benza, the man everyone is talking about. <laughs> wow. A.J., that was beautiful. Thank you. I've never seen anything oh like my. that. But he gets thought, crazy know, like, with the threats. He's it was Ali Frazier. I like, you know, I like, I like good You know I knew you really, man? You went into the F word. Oh, yeah. Well, the lies were getting too crazy. <laughs> when the lies get that nuts, I go crazy. Go crazy. You know what? what is this? What do you got here, Gary? Let's call that instant feedback from the listeners. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, really? Let me hear this. Hi, Gary. I just had to call because I've been to many parties with Donald Trump. This, this whole thing with AJ is so appalling. Who, in their right mind, I don't care how much money that lecherous Tom has, would want to sleep with a guy with eyebrows like that <laughs> and that disgusting red head. You should see him in real life. That red head with that hair wished over it. Barely so this there. is an AJ fan. Oh, yeah. yeah. AJ. AJ. She said, AJ, how could anybody pick Donald over AJ? Pro AJ? Next well, one. You got, how many you got on here? A lot? No, just that just one. Just that, okay. Uh, oh, I won. See, she I won. Was, she was and on the, the public has spoken. The public has spoken. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's end the vote now. Uh, you got to admit, though, Trump does get lots of hot chicks. He does. And you know what? There's lots of rich guys who can't get You know laid. what the difference is, though? Yeah. Girls who go sleep with him, they're looking for the view and the plane and the boat. Me, look is that me. fair to say though? Do you know that for a fact? Yeah, they go you know, with me. They're looking for nothing but a dinner. No, you bring a lot of perks to the game too. Well, yeah, well, come you on, have bro. Some celebrity, you have some amount of celebrity. You could take them to I cool was places. Girls when I was fourteen years old. I know, so, but you could take them to cool places. You could make, have, I never help had, had cool problem celebrities. Hey, the I never guy ain't here to argue with you, so we can't go to. No, that. no, it's pretty beautiful. You think that way? Hey, anyway, the premiere of AJ Benz's talk show on E is uh, it's called AJ After Hours. If I was you, it'll be this kind of a show. If I was you, I'd beg Trump to come on that show. You got him. You gotta have uh, mine. Put ropes around the loft, then we'll have a good, good <laughs> nice show. Thursday, May thirty first at ten p.m. Look for AJ's book, Fame Ain't It a Bitch, at bookstores now. And, yeah, you gotta uh, read about what uh, Cat read the book Donald on. Trump refuses to read. Stuttering John's in the Donkey Show, Robin. Every Thursday night, that's tonight for tickets. Oh, you gotta see that. Go to stutteringjohn.com. Casey will be at the Hard Rock Cafe in Manhattan on Fifty Seventh Street between uh, oh tomorrow at ten p.m. Yeah. Be- Benji, uh, email him at uh, bigbadjesus at yahoo.com. And uh, see Donald Trump and AJ on the phone with Cara today. I think Donald's on the phone with her now, and AJ will be on with her shortly. And uh, we'll do it all again tomorrow. We did enough today. And Elephant Boy, thank you. Thank you, Howard. What the dog doing? You want to talk about weakness? It's weak to disparage women. It's weak to disparage Hispanics. I don't disparage. It's weak... It's weak to denigrate the disabled. And it's really weak to call John McCain a loser because he was a... I never adult. called him. No, I don't call that him. That is outrageous. He's an American hero. He also said about is, language. I've laid out my plans. He said about language. My language. Two days ago, he said he would take his pants off and moon everybody. And that's fine. Nobody reports that. He gets up and says that. And then he tells me, oh, my language was a little bit rough. Okay. My language. Governor Kasich. Give me a break. Governor Kasich. Governor Kasich. He died like a dog. Problem, or we could just blow everything up. John was smacked in the face and sucker, sucker punched or japped. I and never heard that word before. And there's a way to work through a problem like that. That's, uh, a lot of you know times, guys who are friends get into fights and they remain friends. I, I think, if, I'll bring them back I right think if AJ had gotten up and smacked me in the head, there would be no way to work through it. It's a different situation, man. You know, you, it's not a different it situation. Is, it is. People no, it is. taking those calls. No. If you want to be mad at anybody on the show, be mad at how That's right. Paid. That's right. No, I'm not and that's true. And a person's a person. I'm not, but it shouldn't matter whether it's an intern or how. It is an assault. It is an assault. You know, John could get how John could get AJ arrested right now. I think that's a bad precedent. If we're going to let people who can't handle phone calls start smacking people, then you've spoken, and that's the end. But hey, listen, I'm not saying he shouldn't be allowed to stay in. He can stay. I'm going to smack him in the face. Front page, Howard. He can't stay because I can't have a guy. We can't allow. We can't allow that either. As wrong as wrong as AJ was, I'm not going to leave AJ here to get sucker punched. And John, then you know what? If you do that to AJ, even though on a man. Oh, telling me it's, it's too, 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 too. No, I'm telling you that Tom would be within his rights to get rid of you. This is why people go to war. This is the whole country. You have to go war. When have I raised a hand to anybody in the 14 years I've been here? If you, John, if, you said, if you said to me right now, 
Did you understand what AJ did in some way, or you feel that AJ has apologized and you can live with it? I would. I, listen, I love having AJ on the show, but if I had gotten smacked in the head, I don't know if I could have said that. I know if Robin had gotten smacked, in the head, I don't know that she'd be in the mood. To I sit would always there. run. I know. Right. On, on I would too. On I would run. John, if, you, if you knew that, keeping Robin when you don't know it's coming. Right. I run regardless. Howard, so, so on this is level. a very listen. Do I love AJ on the show? Of course, I have him yes. on the show. I love having AJ on. Something very unfortunate just happened just here. Happened. That's true. What is it, I Scott? Could, could, could Scott Einziger, a man more feminine than me, <laughs> have something to add <laughs> to this? That if you're interested, we have another angle for analysis. Right, maybe that will help. Let me see. Let me see. Wait a second, Dominic. I have a great idea. I'm reviewing a tape from another angle now. All right, but Leslie right. gave the best advice. Hold on, hold on, Dominic. Make AJ do time out in the corner. Ow! No. Uh. I told him I was going to smack him. Why not just fuck up? Nobody's waiting for a punch. Nobody's waiting for a punch. My hands aren't up. That's a sucker punch. Casey, Casey did knock uh, AJ down. No, no. The, you, you, Casey got off a good one. Because a guy who's going to punch somebody doesn't walk. First of all, let's hold on. Donald Trump. Donald Trump is on the phone. Donald Trump is on the phone. Donald Trump. Howard. How are you, Donald? Listen, I told you that AJ was a loser, Hal. I've that for a long time. And listen, if I'm, if I'm advising John, John, are you listening to me? Yes, I am. Now, I'm a rich guy, you're a poor guy. Just listen. <laughs> the first thing you do, and I have to t tell you that Tom is right, you ought to throw AJ the hell out. You bring a lawsuit against AJ, you get everything he makes, which isn't much. Sadly, and I love Howard, but sadly, you have to bring the lawsuit against the show because they're the only ones with any money. Oh, thank well, you. Yeah, thanks a lot. John, I represent everyone there. Listen to me, John. What you have to do, John, is leave immediately, bring a lawsuit against both, and you're going to become a rich man. You're never going to have to work again and suffer the abuse of You see, that is millions in it for you, John. I have to tell you, Tom is 100% right. That's why he's throwing A.J. off the show, Howard. Uh, All right, well, Donald. But I did tell you, he's like, hey, hey, Howard. Yes. No Johnny Carson. Right. <laughs> Have a good time. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Uh, well, you now even all your enemies are coming back to get you, AJ. I have a gag order against Trump. I can't talk about it. But Is that right? Really? What do you mean you have a gag order? Gag order on what? About it, but him and I, him and I, he stole my girlfriend. Wait a second, no, 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 no. John. We went through the thing. So, so I, I, since the last time you were on the show, yeah, you guys yeah. talked. So they, he got a gag order against you. We signed. Donald, no, what is a gag order? We wrote up some papers about what we should and shouldn't say to each other, and I haven't brought him his note once. So now he's right. Donald. Gag order. But he has he broken gone? the gag order. So that means that I can put him in my next book and put him in the movie, portray him how I want to portray him. That's right. Well, then I guess so. Well, with Mr. Certain, Trump is gone. With a certain things you weren't allowed to talk about, or just not about each other in general. He didn't like the. He, well, he just said he didn't want me to be my next book and didn't want me to trade the oh. movie. And, uh, well, Zolar thinks he has some information here <laughs> that will help. And, and well, let's turn to someone who. Zolar is very solemn and like, yes, Zolar. Yeah, first of all, I always call in and tell John my topic. And then at the end, before I hang up, I say, AJ, how many guys did you give a BJ to? Right. To get that job. Right. And I, I don't like him. He's wrong. And I think that John should get to smack him in the face. Okay. You stand there with your hands down, AJ, and let John smack you just the way he feels you smacked him. Oh, the way he feels, I smack him. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? I don't know that that's going to settle anything. Why not? Did you, is that what you want, John? Like you jab me, I'll jab you. It's not jab. You know, I know you're coming. No. Oh, no, no, no. You just stand there and take a smack like a man, AJ, just like Chuck Vito said. I'm going to punch you. Get ready for your punch, AJ. And I took it. And I took it. Yeah, so take the smack. Don't be a bitch. Well, oh, then what? Should I then file a counter lawsuit and walk a crazy lawyer? No, no, no. Then you'll be even, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you something. Oh, my God. I have another solution. Yeah. Thank the person who just put that phone First on. of all, first of all. Turn him out. Put him in the corner. <laughs> no, first of all, let me say something. And here you see people sometimes get heated up. And they don't respond properly. AJ and John went at it. AJ, you sucker punch John. Sucker smacked him. Sucker smacked him. He didn't punch him. Right. He didn't punch him. He smacked him. But he laid hands on him. Okay? All right. In all fairness, my chin blocked a good a yeah, you got of the momentum of the punch. Right. That started as a closed fist. And no. no. That's a lie. Tom. Right. Um, look at the tape. Oh, jeez. I mean, come on. There's a certain amount of... In all, in all fairness, John, I don't even think hardly you got touched. I think Gary absorbed the blow. Yeah. He got the shot. Wait a second. Hold it. I'm just telling, I'm just telling you that. Secondly, you did get smacked, and I told you. Don't it's worry, Howard. I'm not your, you. No, no, no. You can sue me. You sue me right now. I don't care. I'm not suing anybody. You, sue, you could sue me. Maybe, maybe. Right. But you, could sue, you could sue whoever you want. I'm not telling you who not to sue. But the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, this has to be resolved now. Can I just ask John one question? Because I think I can. Yeah. And I, I agree with John. I agree. If I got slapped at work, 
I I would not feel comfortable being around somebody. Let me just ask you one question. I agree with you. You're totally in the right. I agree with you. If you don't and want I it, agree with you. Oh, if you were sitting in your chair and you hadn't done anything to anybody, <laughs> but that person perceived that he was being done, he feels that he was being attacked. Well, Robert, hold on. So he's coming by from both, But you can't, but you can't, you can't, you can't smash someone. I understand you're upset, John. I'm saying no, that I understand both positions. But, John, if Oh, no, really? Yes, I, I understand your AJ. position. And what position is AJ in? Do you understand that guy's able to come out and smack somebody? Oh, so he's okay to smack somebody. No, I don't think it's okay to be He shouldn't be attacking Howard. AJ, no, AJ, no. I'll tell you why he was attacking Howard. You were posing as a guy named Nell. No, no, that's what I didn't realize. Well, I thought it was funny in the screen. Yeah, that's not the problem, Howard. I thought that's what sent him over the edge. It did, yeah. I thought what you did alone. Oh, now he. The problem the last three weeks of football. I said it looked. Well, that started it, John, but it looked funny on screen seeing you laughing it up. But when you're sitting there and you're John bitching on me, it's not a call. It's you doing it to me personally. And no one here does that to each other like that. Oh, well, no, they do. They do. Are you kidding me? I'm here. I'm here. Are you kidding me? I've heard fights between you guys. This whole show is we insult each other constantly. I'm listening for AJ. I know what the show is. AJ. They have put people through who said I should have died when I had kids. <laughs> right. And by the way, I said that Tom that should have died. That was me on the phone. I <laughs> told Tom he should have died. Show and I like I can't take the to AJ, Tom's a good sport. He, I said Tom to him, when, and I'll take the heat for this. Uh, when he had cancer, I, I said I wish you'd have taken your life. Yeah. I did. <laughs> and Tom, I don't know what that. I laughed. That's right. And Tom laughed. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and Tom, by the way, I, I, I'm glad you lived. Thank Howard, you. let me just ask John one question. Today, right now, I am. Because the Lord knows what I'm going to do with this let situation. Ask, let me ask John one question. Yeah. I know that you said that if AJ stayed, you'd have to hit him. Yeah. But but would you hit him knowing that it would probably cost you your job? Is it really worth it? Well, well, well it's 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 it 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 should cost him a job. Right. 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 But so Tom can't right. have a complete well, man. Yeah, he's right. So, so, John, you want to even up? You want to smack me back? Would you smack AJ? Would that even it up? Let's put Gary between us. You walk in and smack him with your left hand like I did. Let's recreate. All right, that's fair. Everybody gets the clobber. Giant recreation. But I want to make sure. Gary? Why do I get the hit? Wait, the same thing. No, the same thing. As much as I would like to see it. Wait, be honest, John. John, <laughs> John be honest. Wait, 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 John, be honest. You clap me you how, much, how much did it hurt you if you get the... Uh, I'm not going to say that right now. Be honest. I got to wait for the lawsuit. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah. John, it didn't hurt you. Did he barely... Did he barely... Not get, it doesn't look on tape. This kind of stuff happens. Howard, it doesn't make a difference. I understand that. You're right. It does. So, do you want to just smack him and get over there with I think my five-year-old can hit harder, but it doesn't make a difference. Do you want to smack him? It doesn't make a difference. Do you want to smack the guy or not? Let's do it. Let's smack him and then be done with does that satisfy everyone? Everybody, then we will smack AJ. Let's recreate it. Wait, smack AJ. And then from that point on, there's never any more hitting anywhere in this. I agree to that. Well, of course. Look at Tom's face. Look at Tom. What do you think of this? The person I need to make sure is happy at the end of the day here is John. Yeah, I understand. Me too. John finally in a position of power. I got an extra twenty grand on my next. No, you can't get that. Don't make it a banner that. Don't stop no. No, you're not kidding anything. Let's do No, no. But go ahead. Just go smack AJ and be done with it. If you don't like that solution, then then tell AJ to leave and I'll stick by. You're gonna leave. And I and I don't know that you're wrong. I'll let you even not. You know what? If you tell. What's well, well, not right, Dominic? It is not right. We should make him sit like Hannibal for the show. Put him in. <laughs> you know, there's one guy on the show I'm going to defer to right here. Okay, go ahead. Fred Norris. I think he's. A, I think he's a the the fair one. Oh yeah, man, you're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get Marsh's logic. Hold it. Stephen Baldwin wants to say something before Fred issues his. Stephen Baldwin. What is it, Stephen? Hey, hey, John. AJ smacked you. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what the dog doing? Okay, question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. She's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. Go ahead. In a tweet this weekend, Mr. President, you said that it's incorrect to say you're limiting the scope of the FBI investigation. What does that have to do with trade? I don't mind answering the question, but, you know, I, I'd like to do the trade It has to do with the other right? headline in the news, which is the Kavanaugh I know, but, I know, but how about talking about trade, and then we'll get to that. We'll do that a little bit later. Do you think the trade... Anybody have a trade? Do you Go think ahead, your trade please. deal will pass through Congress, sir? Uh, I think so, but, you know, if it doesn't, we have lots of other alternatives. You're a nasty person, I'll tell you. Uh, you mud-sucking sons of a bitch. Oh, get away from me, you and your jerky questions, you bloody fool. You guys are retarded. 
And what is it, John? Yeah, Howard, uh, uh, Donald Trump is on the uh, on, 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 on the phone about the phone. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, oh. Mr. Trump. Howard. How are you? How are you? By the way, Donald Trump called me the day after we started talking about having a stuttering John Cabby fight. He and, did. And he said to me, he goes, you want this fight to happen? I'll make it happen at my Trump Taj Mahal. I, said, I would you, love that. I said, you are beautiful. This is great. And then I said to Tom, hey, let's do business with Donald Trump. He wants to have it at the Taj Mahal, the big fight. And what happened? Well, that was the last I heard. I said, just do me a favor, Tom. Don't mess up my relationship with Donald Trump. You hook the two of them up. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure he's screwing well, it up. Tom's got to be a great business guy. No, Tom sent me like a proposal for about a half a million dollars and this and that. And half a million like dollars? And by the, t by, the time I, by the time I finished reading the proposal, I said, boy, this is going to be a, Let's hire Mike Tyson. I think it might be cheaper. <laughs> you know, i got to tell you something. See, this, I knew this was going to happen. I talked to Donald Trump. I said, I just need a place to hold this. i got to raise a hundred grand to pay off John, and we're done. I will do that with you. I'll do the $100,000 for John. Uh, but, you know, actually what happened, and first of all, it's very bad news about Pam Anderson. That is yeah. really bad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Would you, let me ask you something. To you. Would you do her still now? No, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, no way. Me neither. That's the way to go, man. Wait a minute, Donald. i got to ask you. If it was Pam Anderson and Whoopi Goldberg, who do you do? Whoopi. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, right now I have to go with Whoopi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's uh, and Robin, not, that's Donald looking, Trump. Terrible, I know. It's a terrible thing. It's a, it's a sad, you know, it's a terrible thing. All right, boy. wait a minute. If it's Rosie O'Donnell and Pam Anderson, who do you do? Rosie O'Donnell. You Rosie? know, you have to go for life. Yeah. Okay. You have to go for life. Rosie what do you know? Are you I, doing I, Rosie O'Donnell? Donald, I'm sort you're... of having a good time with life. I want to live. Yeah, and, and yeah, you're having a nice life. But the, the thing is, what is the story on this hepatitis C? How do you get it? Well, I, don't, I was watching something uh, last night because, you know, one thing, she's made people aware of what this is all about. And right. it sounds to me like it's just a disaster. It, it lays dormant disaster. in the body. And then one day when it comes out, your liver goes and you either die or get a transplant. And then it attacks your transplant. Right. Uh, so it's uh, not like a great thing to have. It never goes away. And there's really no cure. We and to you get it through blood transmission. Right. right. Yeah. You get it somehow, but it's like a disaster. So and if you bang a chick without a rubber, you can get it? Ooh. Yes. Well, I think you can get it a lot of different ways, uh, but you can get it that way. So is Kid Rock freaking out now? Yeah, what do you think Kid Rock's uh, doing right now? I think right he's now? a very nervous rocker. You do? Have you spoken with him? Because no. you obviously know all the fam famous people. I know a lot of people, but I, I haven't spoken to him and I haven't exactly brought up this subject. But wait a minute. What if, all right, you're in a, you almost wound up there, Howard. You were trying. I was trying to get, I, I, wow. I did you try. how lucky you got, Howard? I did for one <laughs> Scott shine on me. <laughs> Suppose you had gotten all the way there. Oh, hey. On a one night thing, you two were just out having a good time. Mm. And then you read this in the paper today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you cast, do? Robin? Well, yeah. What cast? That's like when Magic Johnson announced he had AIDS. There got to be thousands of women all over the country going to the doctor. Yeah, right. Their skin off. Yeah. You know what I would do? I wouldn't even go to the doctor. I would just like I would just be in full denial. <laughs> you know what I mean? How would you ever happen? How would you happen? know that? You would know that Ralph would give you his liver. Yeah. You know what I mean? He would do that in a second for you. He better. <laughs> now, so let's get back to the fight. All right. So I know what's going to happen. Tom is dealing with Donald Trump, and he's going to ruin my relationship How with Donald Trump. How has that been for you, Donald, talking to Tom? Well, he's a good businessman. You're, you're well represented. In no, fact, no, no, but I was he's not representing at, I didn't have time to read the entire proposal. It was so long, but <laughs> it, was, it was great. And, you know, I respect Tom for trying, but, you know, I don't want to have the Tyson fight right now. Hey, Howard. Hey, you know what, Donald? Let me tell you something. Here's my, here's the, my problem. All I did was go on the air. I got two guys who want to box. They go, hey, this is a good radio yeah, bit. Yeah, we want to make I this agree. happen. If I did the radio bit right here in the studio, right. Tom wouldn't be involved. I just right. need to go somewhere. As soon right. as I say I need to go somewhere, You're Tom involved gets involved. Tom. Yeah. Right. Now, I should take him out of the whole thing. Just do my radio Work show from to Donald, Taj Mahal yeah. tomorrow with Donald. We go there. We, we charge, what, 200 bucks a seat. That's the 100 grand for, for John. And then we have the fight, and it's over. Let well, you know, I've had in Atlantic City, Howard in Atlantic City, I've had all the big fights. I've had, you know, the biggest ones. I've had Tyson Spinks. I've had a lot of the really big ones and the most recent ones. And we're negotiating for some very big ones. Taj Mahal finished number one in Atlantic City this year or last year. And, you know, it's been doing great. And I heard this the other day because I do listen, and I heard it, and I said, that's a great idea. So I called up Howard, and I said, Howard, I'll do whatever you need, you know. And then I got this proposal for, like, uh, unbelievable. But, <laughs> and Howard, it has no, it will not destroy our relationship. Howard, I promise, but I will put up $100,000 for John. 
Dang and it. I agree with you. I think John's going to be pretty tough. You think he can take Hebby? Well, I think John has got a certain craze in his eyes. I watched that on television where he went after AJ. Yes. And I think <laughs> I think there's a certain craziness about John that's very interesting. Yeah, yeah. But you haven't seen Crazy Cab. Hey, there's on. another you know, interesting look there too. Yeah, yeah, you know, Donald's not being you know Donald's being a little nice at the time now, but when I, off the air he's like, this guy, is this guy crazy? <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have to be nice. You know, he's got a he's got a crazed look when he gets no, angry. I mean, and, you know, I've seen about that Tom? before, people, and that's a pretty effective look. Let me tell you something, Donald. <laughs> you have been nice enough to offer the Trump Taj Mahal to uh, this fight. Uh, I don't listen. I thought it'd be a great idea to go to Atlantic City. Yeah, but, once you get, but once you get involved with Tom. Oh it's going to turn into a whole big rigmarole. All I want to do is go watch the fight, right? And broadcast from there. And have some people around. And have a good time with. We'll it. have a lot of fun. We have an arena that seats five thousand people. We'll have it packed. I got to tell you something. Oh, that would be great. I don't think it's going to happen. No, oh, no. not at Trump Taj. I think we're going to have to do it like right here in the studio. I'll build a ring. <laughs> That's the easiest way for me to get it done. The Taj is a great place, man. What I love, can I, I do? Go, I'm dealing with Tom. Yeah, we got this albatross called Tom. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Five thousand fans. It'd be a, it'd be an incredible party. Well, you know, John came down this summer with his friends, and he was an act at Trump Marina, and he did great. I mean, he sold out the place. It was it was really fantastic. I mean, everybody's still talking about it. That would be great. Back. Donald won't But I, I think the fighting could even be more interesting. I love the fights, and I think it could maybe be more interesting. Hey, by Donald the way, was so impressed with the uh, stuttering John that he wound up having breakfast. Yeah, we had brunch. Time. Actually, that, yeah, that true. disturbed me. Yeah. I did. <laughs> that really disturbed and me. I met his wife, who's lovely, and yes. it was a lot of fun. And I mean, your girlfriend's was quite the hottie, uh, Donald. <laughs> and oh, you know what? He yes. did a great job the night before. I mean, the place was totally packed. I mean, you couldn't get in. It was totally sold out. And and his whole group did a great job. Yeah, Jim was there. I can't believe you had I breakfast can. with Stuttering John. <laughs> Amazing. Well, that's only because I didn't go to his performance yeah. that night. That's got to be a low point. And how, that, that beautiful girlfriend of yours, uh, <sighs> I mean... He's sticking with her. You're I'm, sticking I'm, with I'm her. I never, I never thought it would... You know why? Because you didn't marry her. You know, she got hepatitis C, Donald. Melania. <laughs> Melania. Can I tell you a great story about John and Donald Trump? They go back a long way because Donald's been a big fan of John since the Channel 9 show. Right. So when we were on Channel 9, John was down at one of Mr. Trump's properties... And Mr. Trump said, you know what, John? Everything's on me. So now when everything's on you, do you go and go crazy spending? No. Do you, you, you be a gentleman? John, John, crazy. John ordered, a, a he ordered his and her massages for him and his girlfriend. <laughs> oh. I think he took the robes. I know he ordered champagne. I didn't pay any robes. I don't care. I hate champagne. Gary's a fabrication. Did you, did you order his and her massages? You I did. You know no, you did. No, you I got it. a massage and that's it. Oh, uh, you're a liar. Is you were this telling the me the reason Donald went into financial you were trouble me... there for a while? Gary, Gary, yeah. Gary missed. No, no, no. You when Donald you Trump got... had his slump, it was because stuttering John <laughs> comped himself everything in the hotel. John said he, drank, he went through the mini bar. Remember you telling me you got a lot of champagne. things. I, I probably drank some beer at the mini bar. I, you, by the ordered, way, you, you ordered a very nice dinner up to your room. I probably drank some beer out of the mini What? Donald's girlfriend is on every Trump card key. Oh, yeah. Sure about this well, course, why not? Who else would he put on there? Well, what, what do you do when you're not dating her anymore? Just collect, look, look, you change them. Hey, those cheap. things change all the time. Please. <laughs> Donald, you think you're going to stick with this one? Yeah, she's a great girl. I mean, yeah. we've, had a, we've had a very good relationship, three and a half years. Can't believe it. So she's been good. Well, listen, are we doing this fight? Well, I'm going to go talk to Tom after I speak with I you. You speak to Tom and let me know. All right. It's very hard for me to speak with him. I need an interpreter. Taj is number one in Atlantic City. That's where to do it. And we'll have a lot of fun. And we have the arena. We have everything set up. Yeah, it's all there. No, all it's right. all ready. I'm going to get to work on it. Okay, Howard. All right, thanks, Tom. Have fun. Right, that is Mr. Donald Trump, worth a billion dollars conservatively. Yeah. I don't know a billion. Just sold the Empire State Building for $54 million. Yeah, but he has to split that with his investors. Did he even Whatever. own it? Yeah. He owned the land. Because that would have been brilliant. You know what the wildest thing is? Our, you know, you predicted this would happen. <laughs> I told you it would never happen. I no, said, Tom will ruin my relationship with Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> and Donald's on the phone well, today. <laughs> certainly made you look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Donald called me and goes, listen, I'll do it at my place. If you need a place to hold, it'll be fun. And, uh, you know, I'll come up with the hundred grand. I said, oh, great. Thank you, Donald. I said, I'll tell Tom we'll get it all arranged. Right. I really didn't need Tom involved, but I have to go through my... Mr. Guess. Show, I call it. What's well, the big problem? Why can't they just get something why? together? Because you hear it, Tom needs a half a million dollars. For what? What has he got? For what? He didn't just... come up with the idea. He didn't come with anything. He's not fighting, but he's getting five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, he should get in the ring and fight. If he wants five hundred. Oh, I would fight. I would fight Tom in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, John, how do you ever expect to ever see a raise again? Yeah. What? Like I'm getting them now? That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a break, and we'll come back and do the next oh, one. Stop the to oil.
Thank you. I have to say that there are some more important reasons to dislike milk. Yeah, well, how long it take you motherfuckers to cut a check? <laughs> oh, get away from me, you and your jerky questions, you bloody fool. You understand? Well, the gross that I got. Yeah, well, can you make it already? Well, we I don't can know. tell a more realistic story. This <laughs> Hollywood, yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, I everyone, mean, you bought it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You were a great actor. Um, <laughs> Any chance uh, of the next movie being about the, like the whole divorce and all that? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. And then I go out on dates. Yeah, I'm waiting for that. A lot of hey. violence and then some dating. <laughs> Speaking of guys who go out on dates, Donald Trump's yeah. on the phone. Let me see what he's got to say. Hey, Donald. Howard. What do you say, bro? How are you? Hey, man. Howard, you have to work on Tom so I get that fight. I know. Listen, it's working out to be very big. In fact, uh, not only is it going to be a pay-per-view event, but also uh, the, some of the undercard events which we're working on are going to be really great. I heard right. them. It's, gonna, it's great. Yeah, well, you know, doing it in the evening, I think, is great. You yeah. can use my helicopter. I have the best helicopter there is. It's yours for the week. You do whatever you want to do, but really? you got to get that fight to the Taj. All right. Well, I'm working on Tom. Tell Tom. He, Tom likes golf. I just built the finest golf course. It opens in a little while. I'll work out something where he gets five free rounds of golf in my golf course. You know where I want to go? We is this really place? have to get that. Where do I, you want to go? I want to go where Donald Trump uh, built in uh, Florida, this Mar-a-Lago. Mar-a-Lago. Yeah, Mar-a-Lago's great. Well, you can, by the way, you can go there any time. But, you know, seriously, my daughter Trump, I want to get that fight. My daughter went there. A friend brought her. Her friend's grandparents or members right she said i think i died and went to heaven yeah that was somebody's estate whose estate was that that was the estate of e.f hutton and marjorie mary where the post wow. was built in they spent 25 million dollars building it in 1925 so it must be incredible and it is robin how are you i'm just fine you know where i want to go where donald trump's bedroom and see yeah. melania yeah well, that's what i was gonna that's think actually the most exciting place. Place. Yeah. she is hot man she's yeah. very hot i she's saw her i saw her over at the uh that friars roast Right. I wanted a banger, but... Where she saw your girlfriend. Yes. You know, she deals in beautiful women, and I must tell you, she thought your girlfriend was incredibly beautiful, so she told me that, and I told you that. Oh, maybe you two could do a little, uh... Swinging. <laughs> what about a little swinging action? Uh, that would be interesting. <laughs> me and the Trumpster. So, Howard, am I getting the fight? Well, let me, uh, you know, you know what? It would be very exciting if, for it to be a Trump event. It would be a great thing. You know what? Thing. You go down, it's Atlantic City on a Friday night. Is it a Friday night? Yeah. A Friday night. It would be unbelievable, Howard. Tom wants to tell you that uh, he'll call you. Are you going to call him today? Can't you negotiate on the air, Tom? <laughs> Tom, are you going to call him today? Yes. All right. know, Tom's Tom. a good negotiator, Howard. I tell you, you're well represented. In all fairness... He is killing us. Really? Just very, very well represented. Tom yeah, will... So far, there's no fight. So, so, far, so, far, we so, far, so far, we have no venue. <laughs> hey, Tom, I'm going to meet you on the golf course on Saturday morning. Hey, how can I ask you a question? Is yeah. is is the fight going to be um, open to the listeners and where we get free tickets, or are they going to buy tickets? No, no, it's going to be a, you know, we'll give away some tickets, too, because we always do that. But we have to. we got to sell some. we got to sell some tickets. This is uh, something we got to do. Well, Atlantic City is the most exciting venue, Howard, and would have a lot of fun. And not only do we have to sell tickets, because don't forget on the undercard and stuff, I want to pay people, not like what Fox did. I want to pay people more than that. And I also want to get, you know, I want to get attract uh, some really good undercard. So, you know, we got some good stuff going here. I want to be the Don King Can of celebrity we get some boxing. sponsorships? You know, it was interesting that Paula Jones fight. She was not very talented. No, no. We that don't. was pretty pathetic. Of course, the other one's a tough little cookie. Yeah. Well. That was so funny because Paula Jones would get hit. She'd run. Yeah. yeah she would run. It, it, no, I need some real. Bad. She didn't run like that from Bill. I need some real <laughs> brawlers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Listen, we're going to, uh, you're going to talk to Tom later. Right. And hopefully we'll be seeing you on the 17th. Well, I hope so, Howard, because we'll have a lot of fun. Well, right. you'd come to the fight anyway. I'll be you? there. If it's at my place, I'm going to be there. He's got to be there. <laughs> if I'm it's not at my place, I'm, I might even be there. You want to know the truth. I'm going to go to Donald Trump for expert commentary. All well, right. we're going to have a lot of fun, Howard, so I hope we get it. And will you bring Melania? I'll bring Melania. I'll interview her. 100% I will bring Melania. Hey, yeah. Add an extra hour to the show if <laughs> Melania is going to be there, because uh, I'll need to interview her extensively. For a long time, huh? That's right. Hey, what about... Would Melania fight? If I could get Marla Maples to go in the ring <laughs> with Melania. Well, they don't just like each other enough. That's the only problem. How about Iva Ivana? How about you and Ivana? <laughs> how about him and First, AJ? How, no, no, no. The Ivana with Marla might work out. Yeah, there you yeah, go. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that? I don't know. That would be a very interesting fight. That one I would probably go to watch. Do you want to take out AJ Benzer once and for all? I can line that up. Well, AJ's a nice guy. All right. So you guys aren't oh, feuding? He really is. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> John showed me. Hey, Howard. Yes. John showed me something. Though with AJ, John went nuts. I mean, John's got a lot of heart. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think John's a pretty tough cookie. I got ten grand on John. I don't know Cabby. I heard he did great in the last fight, Cabby. He did. But 
John's got a lot of heart, too. It's going to be a very good fight. It's going to be excellent. It's going to be. Make sure we get it at the Taj Howard. All right, all right. Thanks, Tom. You, Tom. Don't disappoint me, Tom. <laughs> I tell you what, there's a great Italian joint in the Taj, a restaurant. There is. Yeah, I, I ate that once. Uh... Yeah, because Artie's on a diet. <laughs> So I'm Marco Polo, it's a great. About it's the a, food. We have all good restaurants there, but the place is packed, and you know, on a Friday night, forget it. It would be a scene. Yeah. yeah so I right. hope we get it, Tom. Yeah, I'll need the luxury suite with the. Uh, Donald's got at, at the Taj. You got some of these rooms for the Isn't high rollers. That the place yes. where Ralph took the bath. I took Ralph over there with a bunch of other guys, <laughs> and we all went down to gamble. Right. No, no, this wasn't at the Taj. We were at oh. Donald's other place. Oh, okay. So we go over there, and we're in, and we get hooked up with a really great room. But I just go downstairs and I'm gambling because right. I'm only there for a couple hours. Ralph goes, I'm going to stay in the room and uh, luxuriate. I go, are you a girl <laughs> or what? What do you mean right, luxuriate? What the hell is he talking there. about? I come back. I find out Ralph not only was in the tub the whole time, but he pleasured himself in the tub. Oh, my God. And it sickened me because, you know, no one else could use the tub because he's got this big, like, jacuzzi in the room. It's beautiful. How do you know that he pleasured the, did he, he told me. Oh, so he warned you at least. He goes, oh, I got carried. I felt so good. I, 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 I oh. touched myself and I... Can you imagine this? That, no, that's. I'm going to give you the room number. You got to clean that one. Oh, I got sandblast. I got a sandblast. I want you to remove that. Tub. Demolish the place. <laughs> but that's a beautiful hotel. Yeah, who do you think you're going to have, guys. Howard? Who will you have on the undercard? You know, I don't. I, I, do you I, want to announce? Or I, I, I'm just about to sign some very interesting matches, right? Including what I think is going to be the first topless female yeah. boxing match ever in the history that, of boxing. That's dangerous. Oh you yes. Think? There's, no, there's nothing goodness. pleasant about it. What's da- well, no, there's nothing. What's dangerous? Hey, you could bust an implant. You know, people sure love that. people love this stuff so much. I was so embarrassed because we were going out that night and the night of Fox. Right. And you saw the ratings. They got ratings that went through the roof, and right. I wasn't surprised. But we're going out, and I was asking Melania, would you do me a favor? Would you please tape the boxing? <laughs> and she thought I was crazy, but I really wanted her to tape it. So we taped it. I watched it when I got home, but. It you is know, great stuff. years ago, I the first time I did celebrity boxing, a bunch of years ago, I got Geraldo Rivera to fight Frank Stallone. And that it was, was great stupid fight. then it that was, we didn't have it broadcast. You're not kidding. It was a great fight. Not a good fight, a great fight. Anyone who remembers that. And Frank Stallone, and, and you know, Geraldo took a pretty big beating. He did. He had oh a lot of guts. God. It Talk was amazing. Broken nose. I'll he tell had, you what. He had a lot of guts. I tell remember you what, that. It was scary. And I said at the time, I said to the people in this company, Let's televise these celebrity fights I can put together. Everyone's like, no, 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 uh, no, no. One time thing, nobody will right, do it. Right. right. And then I did the John, uh, the uh, angry black cabbie fight. That was huge. And now it's like, when I saw Fox do it, I said, you know, damn. Yeah. That's what I've been wanting to do for years. They did it, but they kind of. They messed it up. I'll tell you how they messed it up. They taped it ahead of time, and then they, they didn't do it live, and they changed the ending. So it wasn't real fights. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I I'm suggesting live. what we do is live, real fights, real people fighting, <laughs> and get in there and really get some good matchups going. But you're doing it in the evening, Howard. Yes. I think that's much better. Yep. I like that much better. And this way, my whole audience can see it. If I, and these pay-per-view guys are hard to deal with. I mean, it's a, an impossible thing to coordinate yeah. quickly. We're all trying to make sure that it's done properly, but... Uh, uh, well, I'll give you more details as it goes along. Well, at the Taj, we have a boxing arena that seats 5,000 people. Perfect. designed specifically for boxing. This thing would be unbelievable. I'll Perfect. tell you what. I went to that Marco Polo and had a plate of that fettuccine Alfredo <laughs> once. What's with you and the Marco Polo? I'm talking boxing. Oh, no, but that, the restaurant and his joint is great. Yeah, really? Very much. Oh, my do they, God. I, do they deliver to the room? They do whatever you want. I can't believe yeah, this, like this whole fight to Artie is about a meal. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, we got to go back to the Marco Polo. I, the Taj, i got to say, is my favorite hotel in the whole world to gamble at. It really is. And I, the food there is amazing. Well, you know, Artie, we just finished. The numbers just came out. We just finished number one in Atlantic City by quite a bit, actually. It's but a good we joint. Number one in Atlantic City. We beat out everybody. And it's just a hot place. But I just want to get this fight. I'd love, see a little bit. I'd, love see, I, I'd love Ivana to see Ivana. I'd love to see. I'd love to see. I'd love to see an Ivana and Marla, Marla Maple. I'll bet you. I'll bet you Ivana would win. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I think she could take. Ivana it. would do very well. But both... wait a minute. Wait a minute, Donald. You actually saw them square off. Yeah, you did, right? Well, it wasn't a real square off. <laughs> well, you were worth it. They were. Well, I was standing over. on the mountain in Aspen like an That's idiot. Right, they right were in the, the snow. That was not a great feeling. I was standing there, Robin, like a total idiot. Did you have a camera at least? Did you have a camera? We could have. We could have televised. No, the Inquirer had the camera. Yeah, but of Howard, you know, one story that I've never told. I was standing in the middle of these two, and yeah. there was screaming, and there's 500 people up at Little Nell's. <laughs> and this big, fat, bald-headed guy, nice guy, is standing there. He must have weighed 400 pounds. 
And he said, you know, it could be worse, Mr. Trump. I haven't had a girl in over 20 years. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. it made me feel a little bit better, but who, that was a very right. rough day. Who, who did you think was more aggressive and a better fighter um, in that one? I think they're both pretty tough. Really? Well, wait a minute. Let's let's be honest. Ivana was taken by surprise. Right. Right. So, you know, if she knew an attack was coming, maybe she'd be more prepared. Well, Marla was taken by surprise also. I must be yeah, there was a, a surprise element a on both sides. It was a sneak they're, attack. You know what? They're both very nice. What I happened? You were, you certainly were, you, never liked to see them fight. What happened? You guys were in Aspen. Right. Beautiful setting. You were there with Marla. He was there with his family. I was there with sort of a lot of people. Well, he was there with his family. People have no idea how many people. The and, kids, too? And he had Marla. <laughs> the kids were there, too? Do yeah. we have to repeat this story, oh, Rob? I what know the think? whole story. Go ahead, let me he hear. He was there with uh, the family because it's Christmas time. It's a family <laughs> vacation. <laughs> right. And he stashes Marla. <laughs> oh, you mean Ivana was there, too? Oh, yeah. And he stashed and he Marla? Stashed Marla away because he I wanted love to have you, some man. Fun. Oh. He wanted to have some fun yeah, while Yeah, I there. love you. So that takes balls. He's skiing with the family yeah. on the top of the mountain. And Marla's like, what am I doing sitting here in this room? Right. And she comes out to the ski slope as well. Oh, what an idiot. And confronts Ivana. How dare she? <laughs> what a dingy broad. You, you don't, no wonder you got rid of her. <laughs> good move. But well, that was actually good move. But that. you know what? Donald, yeah. isn't that the ultimate, though, to, to take the family on vacation with the wife and then have your girlfriend <laughs> stash? You know, only rock stars do no, that. I know, but Donald does it, too. Right. Well. They're both nice, beautiful women. And nice. When you're with Melania, where do you hide that the was new a one? Rather, I, I will say this, Howard. That was a rather tough afternoon. <laughs> oh, man. When, when it was not an easy afternoon, folks. Let me ask you something. Would you, you fight, don't recommend it. Would you fight Leona Helmsley? <laughs> yeah, well, I fight her plenty. I just sold the land under the Empire State Building. I know. Yeah. And actually, I sold it to her enemy. You know, uh, <laughs> enemies so with the gentleman that I sold it to. You love that. Which I sort of like. Yeah, that was sort of cool. Oh, that's great. That was sort of cool. But that's it worked great. out really. It was a great deal. All right. But so my great deal is going to be getting you down to Atlantic City, Howard. Yeah, okay? I'm hoping that that all works out, and I'm going to I'll push Tom to call you. Yeah, today. push Tom, and Tom, and honestly, Tom has done an amazing job. He is breaking our ass. Hey, Dominic wants to bet you. Let me see what this is about. What is it, Dominic? Donald, let's bet on the fight. Go ahead. Who do you want? Well, if I if I hold the fight, I shouldn't be betting. Why? Uh, I don't know. You know, they talk about ethical rules. Yeah, uh, you're not supposed to bet if you hold the fight. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. You know, it's, to me, I only know John, so it's no insult to Cabby, because I have heard that Cabby is terrific. Right. But I think John's got a lot of heart, Howard. And you think you're going to go with John? Well, I mean, he weighs 100 pounds less. Right, but John's got the heart. Now, Cabby did say one thing. He said that I was, what's the name of the thing he's on? Uh, Trim Spa. Trim Spa. He said, Tr Donald Trump is on it, like a month ago. <laughs> I never even heard of it. And I was listening. <laughs> no, I got I got to go fight I could probably you. use it, so maybe if it works, I'll do anything. I, want you to, I don't want you to answer me now, but I want you to think about something. Go ahead. You versus Mike Bloomberg. Oh, well, Battle of the Billionaires. You know, he's like a great friend of mine. I was with him the other night for dinner. Yeah. By the that. way... I think he's doing a great job as mayor. I do, too. Uh, so far, so good. So I'm far, great. Uh, you can only fight somebody you hate. Who do you hate? Leona Helmsley. How about yeah, Ed Koch? Well, yeah, yeah, that's, that's truth to that. You know. yeah. <laughs> he's 82 years Besides old. Besides of Arnold's lawyers. I don't know. That's the fight I wouldn't be afraid of. It, hey, Don, you want to fight Ed Koch? Ah, no. no, nah, that wouldn't be good. You know what? He's doing his thing. That wouldn't be good. We have to figure out. You know, maybe I'll do something. Fight I, I'd rather Tom. fight. I'm like Tom. I'd rather fight on the golf course. Yeah, it's much uh, easier. Celebrity golf. That's our next pay per view event. That's not a bad thing. No, no. But there's nothing like the fight. There's right. Nothing like the fight. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. And I hope we do it with you. Well, we uh, we are going to really put a little play in, but. You have to give Tom every single ounce of your energy. Hey, Tom, are you there, Tom? He's not in the room. He, he, he's, believe me, if he was here, it wouldn't matter. Well, who's going to call? Let me ask you, Howard, who calls that shot, you or Tom? Uh, that's Tom's. Really? Yeah, because uh, that's tied in with the radio station, and uh, I guess what they're trying to do, too, is uh, uh, cover expenses on production. There's a whole thing going well, on. Well, you know, the, when MTV, when any of these places do it, their number one venue that they like the best is is Atlantic City. Yeah. The reason is because of the time. And I want to go to You know, to you don't have City. the three-hour time delay like right. in Vegas, et cetera, et cetera. So whenever they can, they like to do it in Atlantic City. And I know. We'll be seen. On, on a Friday night. They got some offers from some places in Vegas, but I would love to hold it in Atlantic City. Well, it's, it's far away. And, yeah. you know, you can be down there in 28 minutes on the helicopter. I love that. So I love far. the use of the helicopter. You have oh, it. That's hundred, and it's, a, it's an incredible. You have it. Robin, we need to chop her in. There you go. <laughs> Can you get any fettuccine on a helicopter? Yes. Really? Whatever you guys want. 
Well, let me tell you something. You know, it is funny, though. My guys called me up, and they called me like a month ago, and I listened to the show, but they called me, they said, you've got to do something. You're a friend of Howard. You've got to get us that fight. Right. And we turn down big fights all the time. You know, we have a lot of fights, but a lot of times, I mean, th there's no interest. They're great fighters. Right. But it's two guys that are great fighters, but you never heard of them. Right. And we turn them down. We say, nobody's going to want to come. This fight, this I don't know, you know, let's, let's assume these two guys aren't great fighters. But they're good fighters. This okay? is going to be a three-ring circus. <laughs> Trust me. I, I think it's going to be an amazing event. It is going to be amazing. Trust me. I got a lot of plan for this. All right, listen, Donald. I'll I'll uh, get Tom on the uh, stick with Don't this. Don't disappoint me, Howard. Hey, 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 hey. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> we just need that chopper. All right, Have Donald. Have a good time. All right, bro. take care. So Bye-bye. Bye, Donald. That's great, man, when, when he had Marla Maple stabbed. That was one of my favorite stories. That was cool, and she, she comes out of her room. Yeah, she didn't want to sit there while he's skiing with the family. So when they fought, did they fist the cuffs? Well, he was between them. Wow. That's what I'm saying. He would know who was giving him more of an in impression that they could take her. Well, maybe he should ref then if he was able to <laughs> hold those two back. Yeah, he, you know, because they were, like, ne you know, face to face <coughs> screaming at each other. Is he a good-looking guy around? Donald? For a billionaire? <laughs> yeah. He's the best he looking billionaire I ever saw. <laughs> that billion dollars. Let me man. tell you He's something. He's a good looking guy. Robin would spread him for Donald. Oh, now stop. <laughs> I think I'd spread him for Donald. She, she's all about the bling bling. <laughs> all, about the bl all about the bling bling. <laughs> Uh, speaking well. of the bling bling, what about that date on The Bachelor <laughs> where he takes the girl shopping, then gives her diamonds? Did yeah, you see that? I saw that. What, what show am I watching? You didn't see that? No. He, he takes her in a limo over. Yeah, yeah, and I remember. And they go yeah. to Escada, and they're you know he's got a guy with a violin playing for their dinner. But the other girls didn't get any presents. Well, because he digs that one. Who's yeah. picking that up? The network is. Yeah, of course. Oh of course. God. Yeah, he's not. He's so he, doing that. He's got carte blanche just to give these broads any date they want. And mm -hmm. this girl is playing it perfectly. She probably read the rules because she won't even kiss him on the lips yet. Hey, and we she's uh, getting everything. We got to come up with a name for this fight. <laughs> I'm, I'm either calling. Some guy wrote in a good one. He goes the. Stutterer versus the smuggler. <laughs> smuggler. Yeah. Oh, the power uh, smuggler. Yeah. Mm. And what was the name I gave it? Junkie versus Flunky. Junkie versus flunky. Well, one of the listeners called him with that one. I like that. You didn't like the fact versus versus the dick? I like Cracky versus Lackey. <laughs> the bone smuggler versus the bone smuggler. <laughs> flunky versus Junkie? <laughs> yeah. The Flunky versus the Junkie. That's good. I like that one. There's a lot of names floating around here. <laughs> And a lot of emails. Do you have a name for the pay-per-view event? Uh, yeah, just, you know, what it is. Friday Night at the Fights with Howard Stern or something. Yeah. Howard Stern's Friday Night Fight, something like that. But your particular mm -hmm. event. Yeah. <laughs> you're the, you're the uh, event. <laughs> we'll be the flunky versus the junkie. Stutterer versus the butt plumber. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, it's so nutty around here, <laughs> putting this thing together. <laughs> Yesterday, my head was swimming after a three-hour phone conversation, oh. and I just said, why am I doing this? Yeah, I was going to say, now we've got a whole bunch of problems. But let me alone. Go ahead, let me alone. Let me be, will you? Why me? Why me? Why did it have to be me? Who are you with? Donald Trump, you're on the air. Whoa. Hello, Howard. Mr. Trump. How are you? Looking forward to being down at the Taj. Good. Well, I just I just heard you talking about the helicopter, and we'll send it back for Robin. <laughs> there but you actually, go. Actually, it's an amazing helicopter. It better be, otherwise I'm not going on the sucker. <laughs> yeah. But, no, it's the best helicopter there is, and it's very safe. And, and you're going to be not, with me? If it's not, you'll read about it the following morning. Are you going to be with me on there? I'm going to be with you. Really? Oh. I'm going to be with you and your girlfriend, and I'm going to have my girlfriend, and we're going to have a lot of fun. And Robin, I can and send the helicopter right back for you. Is that what you can do? Robin, you can join us on that helicopter. That's right. You'd come back for me? <laughs> I'd either send it back for you or you can join us on the helicopter. All right, let me ask you an important question. <laughs> let me ask you an important question before we get to Robin's uh, travel. Go ahead. <laughs> What's Milani you're going to wear for the ride? Uh, I think it's going to be something very nice. Peekaboo? Very, very nice. You know, the last time we had this discussion, I got in a lot of trouble with you, Al. <laughs> hey, you Donald, what do you then? say? Yeah, you were running for president. Yes, no, it ended up being a front page story in the New York Post. I cost Donald Trump the presidency. That's right. <laughs> Let me ask you something. What if uh, I pick out your girlfriend's outfit and you pick out my girlfriend's outfit? That, that sounds good to me. Yeah. That sounds like a good deal. <laughs> hey, it needs a fight. How about I pick that I'll, I'll out? Hey, Howard, the, the fight down there is going wild. I mean... Oh, yeah. You know, they have the other fight, the big fight. Right. And uh, I'll tell you what. Yeah. 
yeah. sell more tickets than everybody. Wow. Now, our only mistake is we should have put it in like a 10,000-seat venue. We would have sold it out. I told you that. I'm telling you. I know it. You know, we, we were sold out before the box office opened. I know. I know. Yeah, it's going to be a great event. I can't wait. It's I mean, going to be amazing. I'll, I'll tell you what, Jerry Gormley and the whole commission down there, they did an amazing job, Howard. Yes, yes I know. They're all helping us down they there. They really have been I, I do appreciate that. So, all right, I'll see you um, I'll see you on Thursday. I'll see you there, and bring Robin, and Robin, fly down. We have a seat. There we go. Okay? You bringing your boyfriend, Robin? No, he can't come. Oh, oh. good. Then there's room for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is Robin's boyfriend, Spider and John. She likes to dig and dig. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Trump. We'll have a good time, Howard. And I'll please, see you on Thursday. And please prepare that special suite for me, the... Kublai the Kublai Khan suite. Hey, hey Howard, you know, there's a suite. Hey, Howard. <laughs> I want to be in the Kublai Khan You're suite. You're going to be well taken care there's of, Howard. There's a suite Taj that I think uh, Frank Sinatra used to use. Which right? is that? Which is the one? It has a, well, we have a couple of them, but we a, have something else that really turned out to be amazing. We opened that? a nightclub about two years ago called the Casbah. Yeah, I want to sleep in that. And, well, I'll, I'll tell you, it's the I want hottest. To be in the it's, Howard, the Casbah. it's the hottest club on the East Coast. See, when I do the fight Friday, take a little nap. Right. Then uh, wake up, and then what I will do is uh, go to the Casbah. Right. Mm -hmm. Rock the Casbah. Well, the Casbah is a little bit late. It is Rock the Casbah. You know about the Casbah. I want to go to the Casbah in the afternoon. Donald no, claims the I, hottest chicks go to the Casbah, Howard. He's telling me about it. What I'm going to do, actually, is once I emerge from the Kublai Khan suite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kublai Khan's here. <laughs> the wrath of Kublai Khan. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, John, you have to tell Howard about the Casbah, though. You know, it's, it's like really at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, but you will not see anything. I'm, I'm, since Studio 54, Howard, there has not been anything like this. Really? Really? It's amazing. What kind of music? I, and I hate to say this on the air, but we have beautiful women dancing off the ceilings. Really? We have thousands of people going in. Hey, beautiful crowds you've ever seen. People come from the Hamptons, and they go to the Taj to go to the Casbah. Hey, so it's, it's, I have friends in the Hamptons, and I said, what are you doing this weekend? We're going out to the Hamptons, but on Saturday night, we're going to the Casbah. I said, what do you do? He said, we take a helicopter from the Hamptons to Atlantic City, go there, and then go back. It's like the hottest thing you've seen. See, everyone should be doing <laughs> that. I don't know why everyone bothers with these cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we much got traffic. a jam in the helicopter. What a life you got. Well, Robin, I hope you can join us on Thursday. All right. All and right. We have plenty of room, so just join us. Wait, wait. Is, 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 is the Casbah happening Thursday night? No, it's going to be. Uh, it'll be Thursday night, but really the, the great night is Friday night. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not going Thursday night. We get, you got to get in bed oh, early. Dude, I'm what not are you partying, doing? No. So, really, the time you want to go, Friday night and Saturday night. And it, it's going to be something. Donald amazing. Trump, you, Donald Trump, I realize it lives like the Jetsons. Oh yeah, he's always <laughs> yeah. in the air. I think he walks out of his office like, and he's probably like fifty stories up, right. and he just hops onto the helicopter, and then Jetsons he's out. He's waiting the... for hovering <laughs> there. Yeah. You know, Donald I have a crazy Trump. life, Howard, because my office is in Trump Tower, and I take an elevator into my office. You know what I can't and I believe? I probably get less exercise than any man ever. You know what? <laughs> he probably has like all those robots washing him. Right. Remember the robots? Rosie. In the... Do you have a robot that washes you? Uh, I don't have that, no. What do you do? You shower or you bathe? I shower. Do you ever have chicks bathe you? Well, I can't refer to that. I can't talk about it. I that. wonder if he does. Of I bet course. you he's doing yeah, that maybe whole he Eddie doesn't Murphy. even brush his own teeth. Hey, Robin, these calls are so that. dangerous. You know, every time I call Howard just to say, gee, I look forward to seeing you in the helicopter, I end up getting myself in trouble. <laughs> do you have a robot? I bet your robot's a Mexican. No, my robot's a Those beautiful. are the best robots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his robot is human. They work well. I bet you someone bathes you. Human. Much better. <laughs> So, so, you know what I can't believe about you? You've been with this Melania how many years now? Three and a half. No cheating, huh? No. No. How would you? How would you they get... Didn't, they haven't broken up ever since they got... She no, must, she's, she's really great. She must be great in the sack. Oh, she must have Dude, magic. He's got, he's got pictures of... He's had billboards. She's on billboards. Oh, I mean, yeah. She must, Why not? She yeah, must do a, something. I made a good deal. She must be driving she, you crazy. You know, she's on the card like, keys. I, I really made a good deal. She did go on the billboards, and I, I got it for the right price. And, and she's not a <laughs> she's not a pain in the ass like nah, Ivana. She's great. Oh, Howard, she was like, I mean, that Ivana. That was the worst. Boy, thank God you got out of that. Well, she was fine. And oh, please. She, 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 she was, was good really, for the time. She was good for the that for time. For a few years. For a few. Oh, yeah. that accent. <laughs> she drove the Donald crazy. He's still the Donald because of her. Because yeah. of her. She doesn't even like that. That's right. I'll never live that down. And that other floozy. What was her name? Marla was good too. I mean, hey, they she were both. She was no good for you. Both, Howard, they were both great. I you know, told you at the time it wasn't going to last. Well, you she said was, it won't last more than a year, but you were wrong. <laughs> it lasted three years. Who was no fun? Who was the best in the sack? 
Who you know, was the best? Well, I, I won't Melania. refer to that. Donald was the best. <laughs> who did you think was the best of the sack, Howard? I say Melania. Melania. Oh, I, she liked Melania. Melania. <laughs> I don't know. A young Ivana might have been tough to beat. <laughs> I felt Marla, Marla was a uh, gold digger. Oh, you know, it's funny. Sorry. No, she wasn't. She was really great. But, you know, on, on the wedding night with Marla, a story I've never really told, Ooh. I turned on the television. The press was going crazy. You saw that, that like... I'd never seen anything like it, and it was wild. And Howard had to be the one they interviewed. And, you know, I'm standing there. I have the television on. I have the young bride, and I'm watching it. And You're she doesn't want to watch bed. television. She's saying, how could you watch television on a wedding night? I say, you know, it's really interesting. Let's see how it's covered. She didn't know it was over and there. Howard said... There wasn't a wet eye in the house. That was his first statement. Right. And I cracked up. And the second thing he said, I give it six months at most. Okay, so this is how I, I listened. This is my wedding night, Robin. This was a basic disaster. Was there a discussion after that? Did she say anything to you about Very it? Very little. Dis no, she started to cry. Yeah. Actually, oh, no, no, please. she heard the two oh. statements. But, yeah, you know, there was the wet eye in the house was sort of a classic yeah. statement. Well, so was I found it very no, funny. Because Donald told me she cried the wedding night when she saw me on there predicting <laughs> that it wouldn't last. And then finally there was a wet eye in the house. No, no, yeah. she cried. <laughs> you know what, Howard? She watched that. She cried all weekend. She was, oh. let me you tell you something. In fact, you destroyed my marriage. <laughs> so what? I did you a favor. <laughs> let me tell you something. She was very cold to me on the wedding day. Oh, I remember. Really? Yeah, I, I walked up to Donald to congratulate him. And she was, you know, dressing her white gown. I go, oh, hey, how you doing, uh, Marla? Uh, she gave me a look like she was uh, Princess Grace. Uh, you know what? She was really nice, but she wasn't for me, Howard. You know, no. you have those things. She was nice. I was beneath but her. She wasn't hey, Donna, how long did you figure out she wasn't for you? Uh, in about uh, three or four weeks into the marriage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm in trouble. Wow. You know what? I'll tell you, she was, she's a terrific girl, but just not for me. You know, I mean, how did you like? Well, how did you? How did you know she wasn't for you? I, well, I didn't. I mean, you know, I was so busy. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I was so busy in the early '90s. The real estate worlds were collapsing. The banks were collapsing. My whole thing was and. Unless I really worked my ass off, I was not going to be talking to you today. You That's understand right. that, okay? We weren't going to be riding in helicopters okay, right, to the right. Taj Mahal. Right. That's right. I'd be, I'd be maybe piloting the helicopter. Yeah, I remember that. Get a license. You were on an allowance. Yeah. That was heartbreaking. Well, they had me, you know, sort of, they were watching me. I owed, <laughs> I owed $9.2 billion, Howard. Yeah. yeah. Well, you dug when yourself you out of the hole. you owe $9.2 billion, you have to go to work. So That's I didn't right. think too much about Marla. I thought more about work. Where are you now? And it worked out good. He's in his office. I'm in my office. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, Howard, he gets in at like 7 in the morning. No, I am. I'm actually in my office. Where's you. Melania? Melania is upstairs, mm. yeah. which is great. In the other office, because this way, you know what? This way, she could, she can't talk. But no, what does she do all day? Time, what does she do? Wait a second, Donald. Donald, Donald, what does she do all day, Melania? She looks good. <laughs> what well, she, she does do? the modeling thing. Yeah, she just does that for fun, and and you know, but she's around, and she's. Very, you know, she works on charity. She does a lot of good stuff. She's available to service you uh, <laughs> during the day? <laughs> no, not during the yes. day. <laughs> Can I ask Donald a question, Howard? Go ahead, quick. During the day, I'm a worker. Hey, Donald? Yes. Does Melania ever allow you to bring other women into bed with you guys? No. But you've, no. Asked, but you've asked. I don't think she'd allow that, but, you know, when I haven't into that too much, but... When you're at the Casbah and there's hot chicks around, she never says, hey, let's have some fun and bring a girl back? No, but by the way, you won't believe how beautiful the girls are. You won't believe well, it. I'm going to go look. I mean, you don't care because Beth is... Incredible. Well, you, but yeah. I'll tell you well, what. I always care. I mean, I love Beth, but do you, you, can, you can look a little. Yeah, I don't hey, care. Donald, right? even you've noticed the girls are beautiful. Yeah, I can look. Uh, these, I, I'm not looking, I'm not looking to get laid. The ceiling of the, we have these incredible ceilings that are built for dancers. And we have like six or seven girls that are professional, that the most unbelievable girls dancing from the ceiling. So that means you can look up the We have people I gotta tell you, you are half a mile long along the boardwalk by, at 12 o'clock in the evening trying to get in. You're my friggin' hero. I don't know how. You're with Beth. So you know what, though, Howard? I haven't seen anything like the Casbah since Studio 54, and that was a long What time. is it, John? You're with Beth. He's with Melania. What's wrong with that picture? Nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong with that oh, picture. Yeah. So there's not a thing wrong with it. <laughs> I think it's pretty perfect, quite frankly. I'm, I'm as happy as a clam. How old is Melania? Melania is 30. Okay. Wow. Same Everybody's as Beth. 30. What is that? Well, no, 30. Age. How old Howard is a great age for you and I. <laughs> it is. You know what? Think about it. Take your age. I don't know how old you are now. I'm 48. You, you put it in half and then you subtract seven. And that's I wouldn't be flying in helicopters, Howard, if I was you. Uh, yeah, you know, it was always very embarrassing. Like, you know, over the last couple of years, I'd go out with somebody and she's like 21 and she's talking about, you know, what are you doing? And she's studying algebra and 
So uh, what? How and it, like, it was always embarrassing for me to walk in. It's too young. 30's like a perfect age. Absolutely. She had enough life experience. Until she's 35. Too much life experience. Yeah, yeah, too much too much life experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it at 35, Howard? It's called checkout time. Right? That's right. <laughs> 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 what Donald Marla was, he married a 94, right. he married a 94 model, and the 97, it was a three-year-old model. That's right. <laughs> yep. you, you, didn't you tell Marla on your wedding night, please don't get any older? No, what I did is, you know, I had a rough time because on my wedding, just before the wedding, I demanded that she sign a prenuptial agreement, <laughs> fortunately. Oh, well, thank God you did that. Is it no, no, true, that Donald, though, that you went situation. back and read it, and you knew that you'd have to pay her more if you stayed another day? Well, you know what, she was very fair on the agreement. It was quick and easy. And very you know, fair. And I wasn't going to be there, but a prenuptial agreement is a very vital instrument. But why are those <laughs> yearly incentives in there? If you stay another year, I give you another... Well, people tend to do that. That's know. what kills the marriage. But you I, look I, at the yearly incentives. Right. They say Tom Robin, Cruise I'm did very that. proud of my prenuptial agreement. <laughs> I hey, think Donald, I did very well. Hey, Donald, has Melania asked you to marry her? Uh, well... Shut up. She, uh, <laughs> she asked for your hand in marriage. You know what? Honestly, she's just a great person. Uh, but does she want to have kids, well, Donald? Them. Hey, Cabby wants to ask you a question. Go ahead, Cabby. Are you Let's ready see. for the big fight, Cabby? Cabby, are you ready? Um, I'm more than ready. Uh, the, the, I got a couple things. First, I want to ask Donald. Uh, Donald, who are you taking in the fight? Who am I taking in terms of... Melania. Taking? Yeah, well, you, you know what I'm doing? Win. Hey, Cabby, I have a problem. Because I own the place, I'm not allowed to take a choice. Oh, you're I, not? I'm not allowed to pick because I own it. Well, then... Can we I would love my... to pick... We I really would. Talk I'll, talk I'll say that. this, because I hear, and I don't know Cabby, I do know John, I haven't met Cabby, I don't think I've met Cabby, no. but I hear he's a big, tough, rough guy. I know one thing, John doesn't look that tough, but I saw, you know, something in his eyes with A.J. Benza, he was going to kill him. <laughs> and, and I will say, I will I will say this about John. John, John is training, I, I, I have respect for it, I don't underestimate John. John could knock me out, but... I want to know, Donald Trump, will you take my $100,000 bet? Oh, yeah. Oh. what? I think I want to bet that I'm going to win this fight. Well, I, I normally I do it, but I never met you. I never saw you. You look to me like you probably, you sound to me like you're a tough cookie. And But John doesn't sound too concerned. What are you saying, uh, KB? You want Donald Trump to cover $100,000? I think I'm already bet? doing that, aren't I? Hey, Howard, I think I'm already doing <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I think you are, actually. Yeah, hey, come to think of it, KB, I think I'm probably already doing that. Yeah. I'm paying a fortune for this damn fight. <laughs> he did it first. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, 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 you I know and, and sitting here thinking, bet. and I want to tell you, Tom is one hell of a negotiator. I'd like to hi hire Tom to negotiate some nice buildings. Who was harder, Tom or Marla? Uh, Tom's a better negotiator. I would All say, right. take Tom no, no, over Tom, our hands, though. Tom wouldn't have negotiated the prenup that she signed. Hey, guys, I'm getting yelled at. i got to take a break. Uh, so, uh, yeah, about real quick, Howard. Yeah, go I'm ahead. Like promoter Don King wants to invite Donald and everybody to the fight the next night. The two world champions, Hasim Rahman versus Evander Holyfield. Everybody's invited. I'm thinking about well, going out, Howard. Good. All right, sounds and, good. Uh, so, Howard, I'll see you on Thursday. All right, I'll, see you. I'll see you on Thursday. All right. All right, Donald, we'll see you then. So long, fellas. It's Mr. Trump to you. Nobody will take my bet, Howard. Well, hey, Cabby, what can I tell you? Um, I'm sure that there are bookies out there who will take your action. Why, why don't you take my bet? Why would I do that? Hold on to your no. money, dude. I told you. You've got, you. 10, you've got 10 grand on John already. Bet, bet me. i got to tell you something, Cabby. It would be funny if John knocks you out, man. You know what? It might just happen. I, I'm prepared for that. But, but then I, again. I really don't think it is, but you have to be prepared for defeat. But then again, but then again, it would be funny if Cabby knocks out John and rapes him. Yeah. Or teabags him. It ain't going to be rape. It's just going to be a fancy old Bag. We all agree that's the best scenario. Yeah, the best. That is a funny scenario, too. I can't wait. <laughs> that is funny with the tea bag. Oh. John, when you're 90. Either way we win. When you're 90, people will go, there goes the guy that got tea bag. <laughs> hey, Cabby, make sure we get that on tape, you know? Well, you... well what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a picture taken, and I'm going to put it on my Christmas card this year. Oh! <laughs> if you tea bagging, John. Uh, yeah, yeah, John, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's that's new material, I said. Is that what's oh, and by the way, John, you're not even going to do a stand-up. You're not even going to be standing up after the fight. How the hell are you going to do a comedy show with your two blocks? I'm going to bring my man? belt. I'm going to bring my championship belt to the comedy show if yeah, everybody wants please. to come see it. Yeah. The championship belt's ready, by the way. I have one it? As a look. Yes, Stephen Singer made it. It's coming out, it came out great. Oh, no Stephen Singer Jewelers? Yeah. Well, there you go. Gabby does make a point. How is John going to do a stage show? I agree. Yeah, we'll we'll up up John told me, John, John revealed his plan to me. I'm not going to say anything, but he yeah. revealed his plan how he's going to handle himself in the ring. Yeah. And if if all goes according to John's plan, Cabby's going to be flat on his ass. <laughs> Who you with? Our army manned the air. It ran the ramparts. It took over the airports. It did everything it had to do. 
We have to keep our country gay, but it's not, I mean, for some reason, it's just not great anymore. If you care about law and order, look, law and order. In normal times, roughly 40% of fresh vegetables and about 40% China. Our embassies in Kenya and Tanzania. Nambia's health system is increasingly self-sufficient. Shifting production to Thailand and to Vietnam, Thailand and Vietnam. This is not about virtue, cycling and signing. And the great general and president, Ulysses S. Grant, he's done, he's really come back a long way over the last 10 years, hasn't he? He died like a dog. Donald Trump, you're on the air. Howard? Hey, Donald. Howard, we have to have the new fight. Ah! Ah, now you're talking. People are driving me crazy. Please call Howard. Please call Tom. Here's what we got. That last fight was a great success. Huh? Not only was it a great success, but uh, we are so ready for this one. I want to do it quick. Nicole Bass and Joey Buttafuoco. Nicole Bass, I think, could kick Joey's ass. She's in amazing shape. Yeah. She's pretty tough looking, I'll tell you. But you know Joey what? said there's no way. Here's She's the deal. The forget, forget that Nicole's a woman for a second. Look at him side by side. Who is, remembered is, it? Is Nicole doughy? Like no. Joey's a little no. doughy, right? Nicole but remember cut. this. Crazy Cabby looked 50 times more intimidating than Stuttering John, and John beat his ass. Look, but yeah. sort of say, yeah. And you thought China would do a lot better against Joey than she did. But yeah, Joey, Joey, Joey's a tough guy. You know, you look at Joey. I mean, he's a pretty tough guy. I'd still say Joey would win, but... What would you think of his boxing skills? What happens, well, Donald? he's just a rough guy. I mean, I, I think that Joey would probably win, but, you know, she's pretty scary. Would you well, date her, Howard? I, I, I think she's tough, tough on the eyes. <laughs> let me ask you something. What happens if in the middle of the fight, Amy Fisher rushes in and shoots Nicole in the face. Oh, that's not fair. That's, that's a possibility. <laughs> no shooting below the belt. Well, I'll to tell you what. First of all, John was unbelievable how he did that. And yes, I, he did. I saw him the night before. He was just so ready, and he was unbelievable. But, you know, the job John did, I don't know if he's gotten enough credit, was just amazing. It was. And, and the fight I, was amazing, and I hope you like the Taj. Oh, please, never mind the compliments to John. What you did with the Kublai Khan suite... <laughs> And uh, the various uh, 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 fun things that we did. Yes. Melania on the helicopter alone was worth the uh, trip. <laughs> boy, oh boy. We she had a lot of fun. It was great. She had some she... little white pants outfit on. Oh, really? Oh, I know. You know, the folks down there are driving me nuts, Howard. They're saying there might be another fight. You have to get it, Mr. Trump. You have to get it. This is why I'm calling. Can you believe this? No, you're going to get it. You're going to get it. You've got you to gotta talk to Tom. Everybody Let's get this calls you out. Mr. Trump? Yes. They call me Mr. Trump. Hey, if you have Howard. a billion dollars. Howard doesn't call me Mr. Trump. <laughs> if you have a billion dollars. You're automatically Mr. Hey, Trump. Trump. Call you know what? me Mr. Trump. <laughs> Mr. Trump's life is oh so incredible. Goodness. I had no idea. Like, we were sitting there waiting in his personal $9 billion helicopter because he was coming back from the Miss Universe pageant. Right. And he was cat he took his private jet into New York to get on the helicopter to come to Atlantic so City. So he privately jetted yeah. to New York to get on the private helicopter to go to Atlantic City. How did you like Miss Universe, by the way? Oh, she's beautiful. Isn't she beautiful? And by the way, did you know she doesn't do anal? I, I heard the show, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we, she I couldn't spends, believe the show. I she mean, spends you know, a lot of time with you, Don. No, no, I heard the show. And <laughs> she really, I'll tell you what, she's really beautiful. And, you know, they beat the NBA that night. She says she, we she have the says, highest ratings of the evening. She says you're her mentor. Well, that's very good news to me. <laughs> that's good news because she's I'll a beast. What, honestly, and I, I mean, as you know, in person, she's even more beautiful. I mean, she's unbelievable. Did she want to have sex with me after the interview? I think so. She was very attracted to you, Howard. <laughs> she Thank says goodness, that, maybe the interpreter cleaned some of the questions up. She says she has to share an apartment with Miss Miss, Miss Teen USA, USA and, and Miss USA and yeah. Miss Teen USA. You got them all holed up in and, one apartment. And also one of Donald's ex-wives. I don't know what you did in the show, but everyone thinks it's my apartment that you, and it is. It's one of my thousands. I mean, you know, they all think it's my personal apartment that they're all sharing. <laughs> so I've had got, more calls on that one. He's but. got some life. What have you done yeah. already today? Like, where are you now? Well, now I'm in the office. I'm working. What are you doing? Why work so hard? Because of your show, I'm getting phone calls from all my executives in Atlantic City. The Taj Mahal finished number one again, as you can see why. Thanks to us. Because it is the best. And it finished number one, and they're all excited about that. And now they're more excited about getting the new fight down to Atlantic City. Where's Melania? Melania is upstairs sleeping. What time does she shower? Uh, <laughs> what? You're, you're making an appointment to be there? Did she call us from the shower? Did you have, se did you have sex with us this morning? I, 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 was that John? Yeah. John, after I did that nice, after I made that nice statement about you, you do this to me? No, I'm just, uh, yeah, yeah, she's I, hot. I, I, she's a very, very high quality. Person. Let me ask you a real serious question. How much money have you made today so far? 
It's 8.30. Well, it depends on what the value of real estate is, although there's a great story today in the Times about the values of real estate and apartments and everything. I don't know if you saw it in the home section of the Times. I no, but you know, John saw it. I read, I, I, at the best, I read the Post. Your John... apartment's gone up in value a lot, Howard. Really? Right. Yeah, but has been John... amazing. D uh, Donald, John asked me yesterday if he should invest in real estate in New York City yes. since September 11th. Yes. Why do you say yes? Well, real estate has been, uh, you know, well, here's for, question, one thing, Howard, for one thing, interest rates are so great. And, you know, condominiums have gone up like 50, 60, 70 percent since September 11th, and the stock market's gone down by like a Yeah, amount. but Howard, suppose there's another, suppose another terrorist thing. That well, you know what, John? Uh, it's very interesting. What's happened in New York is amazing. I mean, the, the purchase of real estate has gone through the roof. All forms of real estate. People want to be in New York. They do. It's the greatest yeah, town. John's very worried. <laughs> John, John could be worried, but you know, John, if, if you would have bought after September 11th, you probably would have made over 100% almost. Is that really true? Yeah, it's gone up. It's gone through the roof. Especially the purchase. Now, the rentals are about flat. The office yeah. market is somewhat flat. The hotel market's not great. But the purchase of I'm I'm starting a new building on 59th and Park. You want to sell me an apartment? I want to sell Howard an apartment, but I want to sell you one on the West Side, John. All right. Huh? Nice. <laughs> but you know, Howard, I'm starting a new building on 59th and Park, and people are going crazy. <laughs> Even the terrorists themselves want to buy apartments. Yeah, here. they're trying to get in. Because they want to blow up the building. <laughs> I'd like to live in the Trump Excuse Tower, Mr. Trump. We would like to buy three apartments. <laughs> three apartments. You know, we, have, we have really amazing security. Uh, <laughs> I don't care. Security, no bother. Kublikan, sweet. Kublikan. <laughs> Can I please have the Kublikan? <laughs> I'd like a gym in my room, please. By the way, I Mr. Trump. Some names, Howard. No furniture necessary <laughs> in the apartment. <laughs> I want a butler to pleasure me. <laughs> hey, you know, uh, when, I was, the, when I was in the Kublikan suite. Right. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Trump provided a butler. Mm -hmm. I was talking about this yesterday on the air. I didn't know what to do with the butler. I'm so. What do you do with the butler? I'm so Donald? I'm so low class that like the butler standing there waiting for me to order him around, and I didn't know and what you to don't do. Know with, how. I, I, and the guy wouldn't leave. And you know, was he was, good, Howard? He was terrific. Yeah. What do you tell the butler well, you're to like do? Me. I don't like that either. Robin, I'd rather be in a 300-foot hotel room with a television. Yes. And, you know, I don't need I the big sweet thing. But, but let me ask you something. They are amazing sweets. What do you have the butler do? He stands there and does whatever you want. You know, some people insist on a butler. They have him go down and get tickets, go down and do this, go down and do that, do everything. But Will they unpack for you? They do everything. Will they wipe you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wipe my know. butt, butler! <laughs> <laughs> I need a butt wipe from my butler! I'm a, I'm a high roller. <laughs> the terrorists want the butler. <laughs> I'm going to bet the barca on Did red. you like the sweet Howard? Oh, man, I it love it. Yeah, I tell you, you built the beautiful place. we got to get back down there. Seriously, we have to get, you know, get some other fight going. You know, another thing you might do, but first of all, I'd love, and I was talking to Tom about this, and maybe it affects the radio a little bit, but if you did that fight at night, you know, we could have sold, according to the authorities down there, and Jerry Gormley, as you know, did a great job, the head of the Boxing Commission, but according to those guys, we could have sold 35,000 seats. Wow. Oh, maybe, oh, I believe it. That was the, the most... Time. Was that you know, not fun or what? Well, fun. Atlantic City is it's a blast. busy sell. You know, when entertainers go to other cities and they die, and then they come to Atlantic City and you can't get a ticket, it's really an easy sell, yep. and especially when it comes to you and your events. But, you know, we might very well use the convention hall the next time, do fifteen, sixteen thousand 16,000 seats, and do something really amazing. Because Well, I actually have a pretty good undercard for this one, too. But, all right, I'm going to talk to you about this. I'm, I'm hoping we come back down to see you unless uh, Tom screws things up, well, okay? Well, Tom won't. Tom is terrific, and I hope we can do it, and you just take care of yourself. All right, you're a real gentleman. Thank okay. you. All right, that's Donald Trump, who uh, obviously is very successful. He's got the life, man. Oh, you don't know. Ugh. I saw it firsthand. But At least he works. Yeah. yeah, some of these guys don't even work. Right, he didn't inherit all that. Money. Yeah, like yeah. he's not some like uh, Saudi prince who just right. you know. Right. Mm. Oh, that makes me angry. Oh, <laughs> really so I don't resent him as much. Oh, the scratch. <laughs> yeah, I mean he worked for it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, did he took? He, didn't he take his dad's business and just make it a, a yes, million times better? Yeah. yeah. That was a deal. Yeah. Yeah. At least he works. He goes to the office every day. You can't begrudge a guy that. How does chick's ass look, man? And oh, his chick's ass is perfect. <laughs> her chick's body is perfect. Yeah, I didn't First see of all, she's wearing all white. Every floor shows up in white. Yeah, because I didn't Can see her see? back. I only saw her front because she walked mm, up. She got a little so. ass that talks to you. Was white pants? White pants. Oh, Can you tell what she's wearing for underwear, if any? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's Great like a thong because you don't see anything. Oh. How old do you think she is? Her? Like 25? <laughs> no, she's a little older than that, like 27, 28. Oh, wow. yeah, she hasn't hit 30 yet? I thought she was about to. Maybe 30. Oh, the most. <laughs> he would have dropped the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to like this one.
like three years. Yeah, he's and she's and she's, and she's in love with him. On. Did you notice that? She's hypnotized. <laughs> she is way into him. Really? Oh yeah. He's got her. He's got her way under control. Oh yeah. Do you I, think she speaks English? Is that? Like I don't think she speaks because she said she do, she spoke a little bit on the copter. She speaks pretty good English actually. Really? I thought she was like you know how you say how you say, <laughs> but she wasn't how you're saying it. I mean, but let me ask you because when I had brunch with them, she didn't really say that much. No. Yeah. See, I thought maybe she just doesn't speak English. That's why she never well, speaks. Well, the truth is, who wants to sit and talk to Stuttering John? She's <laughs> bored out of a friggin' mind. Yeah, she was too busy looking at you grabbing her coleslaw. <laughs> Did she talk to you a lot? We talk, no, she's she's like one of those broads that's an right. old pushy and yeah. yeah. Isn't it Point. great? Isn't it great when broads don't Plus, talk? Plus, Donald loves to talk. You yeah. don't, you can't get a word no, in. Donald can't uh, stop yeah. talking. No, he loves to talk, man. He told me about that Casbah Club like for twenty minutes. Yeah. When, uh, you know, he, he's in love with. And that, that was that particular episode. He'll tell you twenty minutes like every time he gets you. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's 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 she she don't need to talk. She needs to look good. She looked good on those billboards while I was driving down. I yeah, she's that. good looking broad, man. And on the room key. Yeah. She looked good on there, too. Maybe he'll let her be a, a ring card girl. No, nah, no way. He, he's, he's very serious about her. Yeah, I got drunk. Do you, you think she's going to be the last? No. No. What, what, no. Well, come, come on. on. Oh, dude. He's got a few good years left. No. Until, <laughs> until he's in a walker. Until he's using a walker. Yeah. That's when the last Time one. rolls on. Right. right. She's not holding. Yeah. You know what? He'll be like Anna Nicole Smith. He could be 91. He's still going to get hot chicks. Okay. Well, I've said that to him. And he goes, oh, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> you know, in Atlantic City, I did. Did he say that? <laughs> He doesn't want to be drooling while a girl runs around <laughs> dancing with some young guy in front of him. Right. In Atlantic City, I did get drunk and tried to have sex with my room key. That was embarrassing. <laughs> i got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. And I don't like milk. Donald Trump has uh, agreed to call in and share his thoughts on 9-11. Hey, Donald. Hello, Howard. It's a sad day, but you're one of those guys who said, you know, keep investing in New York, and people are doing it, right? Well, they are. It's never, uh, I don't think it's ever been better from that standpoint, Howard. I guess it has a lot to do with interest rates being so low, but I don't know. It, it also has to do with the fact that people really want to buy a piece of the Big Apple, and they really do. It's never, I've ne never really seen it like this to the extent. How uh, we haven't come back, though, fully, have we? I mean, the, the tourism is off, a lot of business. Well, the hotel off. market is terrible in New York, which yeah. means that people can come, get a good bargain, and all of that, and it'll change. The hotel market is terrible. The office market is pretty average at best, probably less than average. The condominium market and the residential market, though, is extraordinary. The condominium sales market for residential is, I would say, the best I've ever seen it. Because and of low interest rates? Well, I think it's that. I think it's the Enrons, you know, the global crossings where they don't want to invest in that garbage anymore. They're tired of it. They want to, you know, get something where they can feel it and touch it. Right. So they buy an apartment. Uh, but it's it's a lot to do with interest rates. It's a lot to do with the bad stock market where, you know, hey, a lot of people have made their best investment by buying shelter, by buying a house. Probably the most important question I can ask you on a day like today is where is Melania and is she naked? <laughs> well, Melania is now in bed. Yes. I'm in my office. Right. Uh, and as to whether or not she's naked, I'm not a 100% sure. <laughs> well, take me back, uh, and, and uh, I just want to know a year ago, uh, what was going on in your life? Uh, where were you when you heard the horrible news? Well, you know, normally I'm in my office but by that time, because it was about 8.45 in the morning, but uh, I was watching television. I wanted to see Jack Welch, who was being interviewed on a business channel, and I wanted to see this. This was his book was coming out, and he was going to do an interview, and uh, he was, you know, just left General Electric. And, you know, it was interesting to me, so I wanted to see him be interviewed. He was just about ready to be announced when the planes hit. Mm. And I'll never forget, the announcer was sort of like, it was just amazing. It was, he couldn't believe it. I think something has terribly, terribly happened here. And he goes on. And interestingly, they never announced that Jack would not be on. It was just... You know, it was just uh, obvious. They never said, oh, Jack Welch would not be on today. It was just never happened. And, uh, you know, I'm sure Jack picked up or just watched. But the interview itself never took place, obviously. Right. But it was just an amazing thing. And, you know, I have uh, windows in my where I live that specifically look at the World Trade Center. And now they're gone. And it's like Cabby was saying. I mean, it's amazing. It's just you, you can't. You can't believe after looking for 20 years at so the you, World Trade Center. So you, walk, you, you looked out your window and you could see the whole thing go down. I saw the whole thing. And, and um, I mean, specifically, I have two windows that are focused on the building and, you know, the silhouette of the building. And, and you know, he builds those buildings, so he designed them so they'd look at the World Trade Center. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Good stuff. Yeah, it, it's... Uh... 
And, you know, it's a little bit like you were saying before, though, Howard. I'm not sure things are any tougher. They sound tougher, but I'm not sure they are any tougher in terms right. of security. And, you know, it's also nice to know your enemies. It's lovely to know you and I have plenty of enemies. We love that, and that's fine. But you like to know who they are, at least. Here, we don't know. Our, we really don't know the enemy. I know. They're skulking around somewhere, and you just feel like you're sitting duck. But we have an idea who the enemy is, and a lot of times the politicians don't want to tell you that. Are you for invading Iraq? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, you know, I wish it was. I, I wish the first time it was done correctly. Right. Are you still against rebuilding the World Trade Center? I'm not against rebuilding it. I guess the height thing. You know what Cabby said is really true, though. Unless you're going to build buildings bigger and better, I looked at the proposals. I don't know if you saw them. They came out two weeks ago. They were terrible. Yeah. They were 50-story buildings. They were crummy-looking shapes. They, right. every, everything was wrong. Now, the city's not going to go for it. They, you know, I don't know how they did this, but they got down to one firm, and they said, you come up with an idea. They should go out and get the top 15 architectural firms in the world and come up with something spectacular. Absolutely. But, you know, unless you're going to go up that high or higher, it's never going to be the same, you know. So maybe we should do it, uh, Rudy Giuliani says, and just leave it and well, let that be a lesson to future generations about what happened here. But actually, well, what, what Rudy said was there should be a huge memorial and it should contribute to the skyline of the New York in the same way that the World Trade Center. I'm starting to agree with that. I don't know. Maybe we should build a television tower there. Maybe we should do something that would be, you know, I, I don't know if you saw last week the television tower, which is substantially taller than the World Trade Center, but you don't have to occupy it. Right. Believe me, a, a statue of your girlfriend would be perfect right there. Well, that would oh. be a idea. That, well, me. nobody's going to fly into that, right? No one would. No one would even mess <laughs> with that. That would That would be a lesson for future generations. <laughs> but, you know, the memorial, the concept of the mor memorial is very important, but it's also the concept of commerce. And... You know, if we don't rebuild something really substantial and create lots of jobs and everything else in addition to a great memorial, then they've won. At least they've won that part of the battle. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it's uh, an awful day today, and I want to thank you for calling in, Donald Trump. Absolutely, Aaron. All right, thanks. You take care. All right, you too. Bye-bye. And we say bye-bye. Look at this Marcus walking down the street. Hey, you, yeah, you zip ahead. Get your ass over here. Listen closely, punk. What's the name of Milk Crate's backup channel? You better think hard, cocksucker. If you get the answer wrong, my sidekick is going to punch your mother in the mouth. And if I get an erection because of it, I'm fucking you in yours. Oh yeah. Peace and love, punk. Peace and love, peace and love. Don't act like you don't know what this is, bitch. You know the Cash App? Cash App. Dollar sign, milk, crate, marauder. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I didn't mean to do that. Please, continue. You know the Venmo, PayPal, and all that. Venmo, add milk, crate, marauder. You are trying to talk me out of making a decent salary that's less than what a migrant worker would make. We can't for that yet. Yeah, well, how long it take you motherfuckers to cut a check? You motherfuckers have the money to implement these things. I do not. I don't give a fuck if you send us a bag of nickels. Just send that shit. Do the right thing. I am not fucking impressed. Look, man, I'm kind of still alive. Uh, you mutt-sucking sons of bitch. And we say bye-bye.